Okay, without further ado, exclamation mark, crashed airship. Provide fuel, win before your aid ends with 300 storm water, gain 20 pipes and 30 sea marrow. We'll play it on 11, so I get 7, and then the idea was 7 plus 8, 15, uh, 15, wait, right, because I will go 15 on the next one, 7 plus 7. 7 plus 7 is 14, which is a... Wait, I don't have to do Prestige 11, I can do Prestige 10. <laughs> I want to do Prestige 10? Flight Rot will have a lesser impact. I'm going to do Prestige 11, just because, uh, what's the word? I get a better idea of how Flight Rot works. <laughs> I'll need to be able to do Prestige 11 if I can do Prestige 20, you know, right? So, I'm going to save up all my points. Let's go. Caravan 8. No, 9. Um, 5 human, 4 harpy. And 2 extra guys. A little extra pipage for the stuff. Seems good. 40 food instead of 20. Well, I had 40 last time. Hit it. Euphoric Vapors. Villagers with this effect have a plus one boost to their resolve, and the fact a stack of this effect is added every 60 seconds requires complex food. Interesting. Actually, pretty interesting. Uh, burning cyst takes longer. Resolve drops faster. Don't sacrifice. Every villager that dies during this storm turns into a blood flower. Wow. Alright. That would have been uh, bad on the last one. So we got foxes, harpies, and foxes. I know there's a bunch of food overlap here. We've got a uh, porridge, porridge, biscuit, biscuit. Uh, biscuits, my main guys, and then pie, pie, a pie. We got our. My human's telling me to go for this dangerous squid. Great. So, I'll know I'll be able to farm something. Mm, open with a workshop. That'd be good. Or I could go supplier instead, because I know that I'll have a area to farm. That indicates, leads me towards flower earlier. I feel like I can wait until the orders to make the decision, uh, or whatever that I'll change my mind on, which is probably very little. So, 11 guys, 3 here, uh, 3 up here, and 6. Remind me of what extra stuff I got. Nothing, really. I think I'll just try to turbo out the trading post and the- Oh, there's no food here. Oh no, that's food. Oh, where was I? Yeah, I'll just go... Yeah, I can build the, um... I'm gonna try, like, the opening that I've wanted to try for a bit. Uh, get the makeshift post up early, and then immediately build a pack from it. And then chop so that I can potentially get trades in early on.
Hello, Zazuno. Uh, Zazuno's happening to watch the stream right now. He, uh, tragically, tragically was uh, apparently 17 seconds away from winning. Uh, if he hadn't, if he hadn't made a mistake, he would have won, but he did, and then he was 17 seconds too late of winning. Very tragic. We all love the Schadenfreude. Also German, and Schadenfreude is my favorite word. Oh, that's what I was actually taking another stab at it, huh? Go you. Let's see, I have no, nothing to do with my action right now, so I guess I might as well build a woodcutter camp and cut for, uh, like, two seconds. So many cornerstones. Does driving water keep going up? So basically, after you use 300 units of water, you get 20% wood cutting speed. And that must be how it works. Interesting. Trade negotiations. Trade routes are with one more amber. Nice. Receive 10 amber for every five completed. Money, money, money. It's like the game heard me when I said of what I was going to do. Trade negotiations. Uh, yeah, more amber. Nice. I want it. Silent looting is amazing. But I want the dollar, yo. Gimme, gimme. That's the thing about this game. There's lots of different ways to play it, you fool. Like this is surely an original opening by me. And I think this will be my default opening. And uh, if I had Empargation points, I would Probably usually have a bought, brought wood so that I could immediately get the makeshift post up. Alright, what's in the box? Three glades, salvage a rune, oh, 15 harpy resolve. Hmm. Why are my harpies only at one right now? So, if I had housing, they'd be at four. If I weren't having this much hostility, they'd be at six. I don't think this is too useful. I'll, I'll take the flock just because the reward on the left is whatever. Oh, it's this reward on the left again. I'll take the right. And I'll take the right. I always avoid three pack. When it's uh, not up against something bad. When it's against something that's... I feel like I explained that badly. Anyways, I rarely take three pack. It's one too many pack than two pack. need as many parts possible for collectors. Hmm. 
All right, so I got my six pack. Nothing available to sell, although this pack of building materials for five bucks is pretty sweet. Can I get a pack of build? No, of course not. Ron, I, I, I'm young and bright-eyed, and I think there are many ways to play the game. So, I know that you're, you've got your ideas of how to play, but we blaze our own path here. Blaze it. I did not get the fox ability because I don't think it's worth it to find uh, the geyser. I go for power. I will take more time on this run because it's just two runs left before the finale. Maybe two runs. Probably two runs. So, you know, if uh, this much on the line, we make sure we win these. Uh, so with all that I've done, I think I'll go workshop over supplier. no guarantee that I can get a farm. If I knew for sure I'd get a farm, then I'd probably pick the flower. It just seems like a... Uh... Having better production and everything is so good, like, every part of the game, you need this stuff. You have roots, you can make flowers from roots. And it's a tiny amount of roots, this is just food to bide my tongue, this isn't anything. Alright, so if I want six, six, and six, that's six, six, six. I think I might actually keep these two shops here. One pack of building materials for four bucks. I really want to. That would probably hamper me too much. Oh, I have to remember, it only looks like such a good deal because everything has a dollar added to it. That is a really good deal. Packet building materials cost so much. But once I get my, what should I call it up? My workshop, that'd be a great deal. Look in the workshop. <coughs> Not obvious what I want here. Greenhouse maybe? Depends on if I find the green rain. A drizzle rain. Oh, I just realized I don't have any way of... There's like multiple things wrong here. Okay, well at least you can get plant fiber, so it's not too wrong. The main problem is there's no clay, so I can't get my six brick up. So I have to get it through the flax field here. So that means I should have been uh, harvesting this flax the whole time. Oh no, order lol.
missing six clay. Or it's what I need. Three clay. Guess I can build some extra plank fabric. Trade rat available. Sell oil. Yeah, this is the map where, uh, sure. We have a bunch of wood. Seems reasonable. Perhaps I shouldn't have started burning the oil. Because you can actually sell that. Is the seal right after you got another town in? Well, there's uh, at least one more town in the middle. It's one of those cases where I can go to the seal early, but that's theoretically a bad play. Like, if I could power up a little bit more and get four more embarkation points. It might be right, but... could also impress the queen by not <laughs> taking all 92 years. And everyone knows impressing the queen is very important. She'll be like, oh my gosh, I didn't think you could even do it, but you did it in 80 years, not 92 years. Please be my hand. have a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, both people... Wait, low on food. Oh, I guess it's more food than I thought for being low on food. Usually that comes up when I have zero. Alright, so I got the workshop up on year one. Thing to do with these uh, extra guys, then build a bunch of roads. Gotta make sure they have a job, so they don't sit around being depressed. Let's 
so thoughtful. If you don't aggressively go after those uh, early packs and use 12 of your food, it's hard to ever get a chance to do so because you need that food. Complete three trade routes for seven amber, get a supplier. Cool. So, flower building is in the works. Five glades. Okay. Two abandoned caches get one global resolve. Get pottery each time you discover. Good stuff. Ah, I can't do that. I can't do this. Okay. Hmm. Well, at least there's more small food. It's okay. The uh, merchant. Oh, here's the merchant. Oh, they don't have food. They do have 15 tools. What's the downside? Ooh, five random villagers. All right, so we actually need to solve this thing. Uh, pack of building materials. I do have a workshop. That would be very expensive. Is that 15 pack? It's 100 and... That's not viable. 15 pack means I have to turn in eight sets of stuff. That's way too much. So I don't need the flower here. Um, thinking greenhouse. Wrong drizzle. Also, I have no room to build water collectors. To build this rain collector in the first place, I would need to dismantle like two of my woodcutters. Dismantle this and replacing it with the berry bush thing. Herb. This is rough. Hmm. think. And also, when I get this started, it's going to be a lot of hostility. This is rough. I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Because I'm not getting to 24 food. I'm currently on the starvation diet. I guess that was just a bad one to open. Unlucky. Hostility reduced by 10 every time you sell goods. Mist piercer, smugglers visit. Choose one blueprint from unlocked blueprints. No impatience when people leave or die. It's my chance to pick up the farm right now. Farm seems like a pretty good building to place. Mm. 
if I drop a farm, I'd probably have to immediately go vegetable, which is okay, I guess. Alright, I think I have decided. Wait, we've got our choices here. Yeah, if I go farm, then that means... Let's see, I guess we can long-term go ale. There's a little bit of value elsewhere. Oh, well I got the farm. Which means... Maybe I get protected trade. Oh, it combos with my stuff being worth more. Alright, that's the plan. Good pick, but monastery equals negative 100. Ah, but, you know, there's so many resources required for that. You know, pros and cons. Serve your ale. Yeah, but like, getting to the monastery is a tough part. have the three random guys available from the beginning to sit in a monastery? Seems like a late game thing. Oh, some take veggies. I need to stop eating roots, ideally. No, I can't. Right, I think I will not eat the berries. And that'll be kind of tricky. Oh man, how am I ever gonna... Hmm. Like, do I just have to take the five random villager loss? Brutal. Pretty sure I have to get Zorg here now. The I, I just have to sell my soul, I think. Yep. Save me, Zorg. Oh, okay. I think if I remember right, Zorg sells one of these for cheaper. 37, 37, 37, 37, 37. Okay, it's all 37. Papa. 
Okay, we need 24 of these. Temptation to attack Zorg rising. to get food. Big head start. No traders for a while. Hostility reduced by 10 points every time you sell goods worth 30 amber. This is the time to do it. We're hungry, we're starving. We don't have the money, Zork's charging too much. The traders do come back. Four villagers killed, wow. Bad RNG. Two impatience, avoid, blah, blah, blah. We got pie, we got the roots, mushrooms. 30 planks, we got the money. Plus one herb production, harvesting crops is faster. I do think this is probably the worst one to get, so, you know, it leads to desperate times. Use clearance water to produce. So that's interesting in that I actually have clearance water. I think I got herbs plus one, so herb garden is interesting. There's 13 fields here, so I can easily fit a herb garden here as well. It's not something I want to take, but too many farms in the forager's camp. I could take the forager's camp. Grain, roots, vegetables. I believe those exist on this map. Hmm. Fabric is great for happy bonus on the happy. You mean weaver. So... The reason why I don't feel the need to get this is because we already have the workshops. The workshop counts as like a lot of buildings, which is why it's cool. So I'll take Herb Garden. Fall into the workshop trap. nice thing is I can pack stuff up. Or at least I thought I'd be able to pack stuff up, but 
I somehow don't have facts. How is that even possible? I attacked the org, and all I got was this lousy stuff. Lost four villagers, saved five. <laughs> oh, 30 herbs. Yeah, also we were starving. It was necessary. It's how all those, uh... There's flavor behind all those wagons of merchants. Uh, those events. I caused those for someone else. That was me attacking someone. Some boxes, we have oil unnecessary. It could be pie. Pie is a big food here. And there's a little bit of coal. And one of these got me is high trade routes, which is easy for me. Alright, will be pie. So we lock in having food security and energy security. Imagine the settlement asking, Hey, where'd you get all this fabric? It fell off a truck. Look at these guys. They would build harpy houses with their fabric. The harpies deserve nothing. So I can actually... Wow, it's a lot of clay. This is probably worth a warehouse.
get it here, then I can set up for the next one. Veggie. $4 veggie. It's pretty good. Oh, but I need to get it to be a two, $8 veggie. Worth seven. We gotta keep those profits up. Don't eat my veggies. Proceed. Tempting to go two gear here. That locks in my profit margin. But gears are too important, surely.
Oh, got the copper ore. Cool. I like the workshops out. Oh, that's Stormwind. I thought it was gonna be the yellow one. Root delivery line, exploration concept, 20 and 20 for each discovered clade. Hmm. For me, it's between one and four. I have a get stuff when I discover Glade thing already. So I think two things that get stuff when I discover Glade seems cool. And I have the thing that eats both of these, so the workshop. And I have a bunch of quests. Tavern, and we have Scroll Ale, the liver. That's the uh, specific building. Interesting. This is only worth 1.26 normally, but the mud skip, it's worth eight bucks. I'm not gonna get a chance to uh, buy stuff for some time now. Is a problem. But hostility is reduced by 10 points every time I sell goods.
I'm opening this glade pretty late, but I think I can still do it. Having the fox along. The singular fox. Makes me feel confident. Spirits. Oh, and money. Very good. Go uh -huh. Five fifty-six. Oh man, I actually forgot that these things took quite a bit longer than that. So it's probably a terrible idea to open that glade, but always lucky. Kill him. Three trade routes for seven. Puts me the capability of. Yeah, that reminds me. Praise to the ancient ones. Praise be. chats here to remind me about the corruption. What would I do without you? This is one of those games where I could have seen myself just blissfully go into the night unaware. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, chat saved me from my doom. Well, assuming it's fast enough. You didn't mention it fast enough. This is your fault if I lose.
I guess I owe myself for slacking. Always gotta be ahead of these threats. Thanks to the workshop, at least, I was able to crank out the necessary materials. Workshop gang gang. Zero woodcutters? I do. Hmm. All right, it's night. Oh, I need to get this done. Just a little distracted by these stupid white things. 300% max. I decided one was enough, but you have to be pre prepared to have one be enough for 300. Twenty-three, one thirty. Mm, so close.
one out of twelve bricks. Five bricks. Additional blight rod cysts appeared. Reason blight swarm. That's a bad reason. Blight swarm. Low on fuel. Oh, I guess. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Praise to the old ones. Each unique service building adds two to global resolve. Cool, cool. Oh, uh, what's the next thing I want to open? That dangerous glade. Oh, I guess I've pointed this way. This makes sense too. Praise to the old, praise to the Forsaken Ones. All fuel recipes are 50% faster, produce 33% more goods, buildings cost less, all camp production is increased. Buildings cost less, huh? Hmm, not bad. Oh, I just realized I only have enough, I only have enough money for two of these. All buildings cost less. Useful. All fuel recipes are faster and produced now. Definitely not. And all camp production. I don't have any camps. And I also think I remember a little bit of lore where. I need to destroy the stuff now so that doesn't get cheaper. Otherwise it'll be cheap later.
X out, you lost it. What? Building destruction is the cost used to build the building. Oh, interesting, it remembers that. Cool. I guess it's a different game. He had wood inside. If you X out the wood that's inside, I'm pretty sure it gets returned in. You know, the stuff you could X out. Uh, anyways, where was I? Uh, buildings cost less. Return back to warehouse main. If you destroy. That's what I did. And not X out. You lose the stuff. I don't think that's true, and I have believe I've tested it myself. That does, that is the case in the case that you can't exit, like if you destroy this. You might be right. I'd encourage you to test it. Again. <laughs> I, I feel like I've tested it also, because I remember being interested in it and be like, ah, I wonder what if I X out while there's still stuff there. Does it go back? And I remember it as yes, but it's possible the answer is no. I'll test it at the end if you remind me. Gain three barrels for every ten planks. Gain stuff for each completed event. <clears throat> I think left and... These are both pretty good. I plan on producing quite a lot of plonk. Actually, less plonk because stuff costs cheaper. I think I should take second. Gain 40 meat and 40 grain for each completed. And then I'll just... Uh, I think I plan on... I definitely plan on exploring a lot of glades in this one, so I think we're, we've got a theme here. I'm gonna be the great explorer. Some amazing perks 3 and 4 would be my picks, wow, we had completely opposite picks. the shrine again, but I have money. I have food. Three hundred. Stormwater geyser. That goes into the workshop, which is less important because All right, so I got a supplier for the yellow, and then the other one for the blue. And then I don't have anything I can build pipe. Thank you. 
Yeah, I don't worry about the end win condition yet. No one cares about that. It's the end win condition. I'm surprised I'm so negative on food. After attacking the traitor and taking all his food, too. But that's why I'm surprised. I guess it wasn't harvest season yet. Once I get this brick oven up and running. Maybe. Maybe that'll be enough. Hey, now that stuff's half off, maybe we'll actually build harpy houses. I think that's actually a pretty good incentive for me. Wait, half off just means things are normal price. You know, compared to Viceroy. Viceroy is obviously just for babies. Easy mode. Ba -ba -ba. I also think I just remember I have the wood in the front. Soon I will taste the pie of my labors. up quite the amount of money if any trader wants to come along oh hi it's fine here we were just desperate for that small moment in time Hmm, 
so hungry. There we go, 49. 40 meat. hook up one of these things with pipe. It makes sense for it to be my precious workshop. If I think it was important enough the first pick, I should pipe it. Okay, I think on the next day I will try to open two glade. I wonder if the traders consider it more BM if you call them, and then you kill them. <laughs> the answer is probably yes, but mechanically no. It's like, hey, we could really use a trader here in our village right now.
might open a small glade since a uh, medium glade would be too far away. Uh, what are the hints here? Let's see. What's the tiebreaker? Deliver 50 ale, deliver 50 scrolls, or will I get a tavern and get some ale? The ale is a pretty unlikely thing that I'll have, but I do have a brewery. Yeah, I do have a brewery. I guess that means it's pretty likely. I get a form, though. Ooh. I just deliver this stuff? Scrolls and ale. Be too hard. Okay, I'm glad I opened this. Profitable caution. Just keep building fabric because I'll always need it. Since I need to build all these harpy houses with it. And then what, we've got human houses too? Takes the other resources. So we just need everything. Raiders arrive faster, no cool stuff, but not that exciting. Cool food. Nothing too exciting in the rock breaking part. get all this meat from opening, from doing quests, from doing events. Ha! Huh, we can't employ people. Gain ancient tablets for every completed glade events. Alright, so I plan to do a lot. Resources burn longer. Meh. Plus two leather production. Gain 12 amber for every 50 ale. Time for the reroll. 
Gain more stuff on discovering. Plus amount of goods produced in the small farm. Newcomers bring you stuff. Gain packs. 20 read, 20 clay. I already have that, right? Double up. Hostility reduced every time you sell goods worth 30 amber. That's still good. 40, 40. Twenty and twenty for each discovered glade, and I still plan on discovering lots of glades. Eh, I guess I'll double up. Discover glades, ancient tablets, dangerous glade events. What's the plan? It's interesting, I must play in a way that is so different than Ron that he thinks I'm a clown. <laughs> it's the same formula in what I've done on all my other games. Feel pretty confident right now. He's like, oh no, Trump's gonna fail. And I'm like, you fool, I'm too big to fail. I just posit that there's many different ways to play the game. Cookhouse in here. That's nice. Skewers and biscuits. Really good. Totem of Denial. I have none of this. But I have a brewery. Which I've not planted down yet. Form Ritual Global Resolve Bonus. So I really want to do this, so therefore I really want to get the brewery, but I remember that there's not enough time. Like, you basically have to be ready. So therefore I believe I'm gonna have to burn it down. much as I'd like to perform the ritual.
A traitor at last. Zahilda, what do you have for me? Global food production increase. Villagers move faster. Gain pottery each time I get a glade. Um, yeah, maybe I just buy those three. I don't need food. Let's see. If I want to buy 60 pottery, it costs 14.5. Of which my stuff is worth less, so 29. So if I open three glades, we break even. And I do plan on opening at least three glades. So this, this, and this, and I think that's it. Oh, and pipes. with the next glade. I'm gonna take an easy one. I guess just this one randomly. I can unlock a few things. My value is looking pretty good. That's all the flower. Hi. Ah, before you go, said Hilda, do you want anything else? Nope. Thinking about calling the next one over early. Ooh, parts. Or food. This is where I have to decide do I feel confident? someone mentioned impatience in chat because I wasn't looking at the red bar. It means I shouldn't turn in these quests. I'll use my divine shield ability at the end. Let's see, why was it that I wanted ale? It was for some reason. No, I had a reason.
it wasn't just for the cups and glasses quest since I don't have a tavern. Maybe it was just so I could sell it. Or maybe uh, it goes into something. Biscuits. Do I have too much grain? I do. Need more uh, herb. Well, this is the wrong season to switch these. Remind me to swap through this. The beer was for one of the Glade events. Oh, that's right. Anyways, um... Six guys or four guys and get food. And I think after reviewing my town... Given that it's about to be harvest season... Mm, Given that I have full employment and I'm looking for guys to do stuff, I'll take more guys. 48 meat's so tempting. I do have to remember when I complete a task, I gain 40 meat and 40 grain. How? Alright, there's a negative arrow on my food. I think I'll let that be the tiebreaker. The negative arrow on the food makes me choose left. Monastery. No? Mm, not tavern. And picking monastery makes tavern worse. Smithy. Don't have very many of these. Religion and leisure. Tea doctor. Treatment? Treatment's the one these guys all like. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't have the production.
N12. 14. Zero wood. Herb camp for berries, mushrooms, and herbs. Okay, there's mushrooms there. No parts. <laughs> Decoration. Rain pink punk burls, barrels, burls. I right, need to start chopping towards the, the good stuff. Mm, not the good stuff yet, actually. The okay stuff. one over here. Surprised that I have such a small amount of food. Just because it's harvesting, maybe. This run could go infinite with the negative hostility. So far, I'm at negative forty hostility.
Oh, crap. Let me add some uh, stored. New leadership. Being angry. Someone wants to work this, but I have no people. Got a brilliant value idea. It'll come up soon. So 0.17 impatience per minute. That means let's see, 60 away. It's like four. 0.17, so four minutes away. It's more time than I thought. Dangerous Glade events, one over here, one over here. I think I can open two of these this time. Really get exploring. Six out of eight. You gain 15 every time you accept a newcomer group. Newcomer group coming in two minutes. There's no impatience penalty when villagers leave or die. Gain two insects when you cut down a tree during the storm. Oh, this kills all my money, doesn't it? Oh. All houses have room for one more villager. Oh, they suck. Let's see, it's six. I have six, seven, and eight. Gain two insects for cutting down trees during the storm. Huh? No impatience penalty when villagers leave or die. I don't... I think I'm in pretty good... 
Yeah, my hostility is low. I'll go woodpecker. Pretty lame. I think I'll pick T Doctor because my bottom two love the stuff. Point zero eight per minute. Oh, there we go. Fuming machinery. Fix. Converts it into clearance water. Hair down. Mm, tea. Akiara. What do I have the most of? It would be a fabric. You know, relative fabric. Zero guys. 4.48, I resolve, blah, blah. All right, it's time for this. Oh, I can't call immediately if I don't have, MP oh, I can't cheat. I thought I could cheat the system. Call to max it out. Can't pay costs that I can't afford, apparently. Who knew? Skip. I need to check how this I want to sell as many of as I can, kind of. Up to an extent. Up to the timer. This one I need to see how much clay I have. Oh, I think I have a ton. Oh, I have so much. Oh, pack. Oh, no herb. Hmm. So clothing will just get eaten. Right side's pretty useless. But it has an extra guy. Could use the extra guy. Ah. 
another stormwater geyser. No! <laughs> I gained the reputation too fast. Okay, so I had T Doctor. <laughs> what a lovely place to put a T Doctor. Uh, where was I? So, T Doctor. T Doctor takes T training gear. Training gear is used for my foxes. Forum, leisure, and education. I want to get the tavern. Still correct, probably. Hmm. Because I have the beer. The ale. Can't afford to move. Holy cow, how am I so poor? Just want to fit the forum in there. Back to ancient shrines. I still have none of the right side. I actually have none of the left side now. We have a new water geyser. But I can pack things up now. We got the mats for packs. I need 15 of these, huh? Oh, the supplier is eating all the wood, I see. percent memory. I was supposed to do something. Mm. 
know. No matter what it was. Building pipes is probably a good idea. Hmm. How do I never have enough people? I haven't lost anyone yet. pack oh it was this I'm just looking around for anyone I can spare. Can't find anyone. Everyone's doing such important things. It's probably because I unlocked two glades. Yeah. Barely up on food, even though I feel like I should be up on food. Where are those 907? That's a good question. Alright, I have too much green. Good call. Oh, and I never got humans into this herb garden. Could use more herbs. Villagers add less hostility minus three. That would get me like one entire thing, but I surprisingly don't have enough items. I can't believe I'm actually limited on items. Meta items. Meta. Someone in uh, the Discord of our like planning and whatnot were saying every villager that dies during a storm turns into a flower, resources sacked, blah blah blah. The resources are useless, blah blah blah, but look, I ran out. I need more I need more food. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Now, where can I find three guys to put in this thing? More blight fires. Oh. Oh, crap. Thanks for being my eyes and ears. Old one, why didn't you give me something that I needed here? Never lucky. Three random villagers. Oh. Ugh, I needed everyone. Queen did not like that. <laughs> the brewer died, a craftsman died. I built a second set of. Oh my gosh. Sabotage. Gained it during the storm. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six left. I think I definitely get this before your eight, and there's a chance I get it on your seven. Is this gonna blow up again? Oh my goodness. The double explode? Impressive. Alright, this is good training for the next one. Clearly don't respect the bite rod enough. Oh, 
four people died. Okay. Ooh, porridge, finally. Oh, monastery. That's nothing. Okay, I need to not accidentally lose here. Cannibalism, that would have gotten me a lot. Traders, meat production, pickled goods. 10 skewers for every 10 pickled goods produced. I have a bad pickled goods here. That might be my best one still. Yeah. Zorg. Old Farler, you're so useless, though. Attack! Best time to do it. Oh, man. You're right. But I don't want any of his trash. That's not true, he's got tools. If you don't abuse this now, you're <laughs> losing out on tree loot. I want to call more guys. Oh, wait. I can't call guys. That's true. Because I'm all the way up here. You got replacement missing. What? Coming. Missing? Okay, I guess I'll take the free stuff. You've already attacked. Oh, it doesn't matter? Oh, interesting. Ah. Um, oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, this is the... Immunity benefit. I like it. Be warned, this has consequences. Fire, dew, bricks, coal. Ooh, I got the tools. Lucky me. Three impatience points. Are you sure that's not a troll? Look, I can't call people. I, I mean, wait, never mind. I couldn't call people anyways. Place these guys.
Pum pum pum. So few people. Hmm. Got a forum here. I can take three people. I should click the button just so I uh, don't accidentally lose. Repeatedly, I need guys. All right, I got the tools. Um, This one might I, I might actually want. That one I might want. That one's too big. That one's trash. Trying to find three guys out in the middle of nowhere. Aren't doing anything useful. Let's see, wine builder. I think that's one of the things I need. Nope. Easy pick here, you got a free save. A what? <laughs> You're easy. I actually don't know what your uh, easy pick is. So I don't have the resources to build tools. The training gear is probably not very useful. The rain collector is kinda okay. It gets me to the 300, but other than that, whatever. And wine. Looks like it's not used for anything. So bad choices all around. I don't want to say anything because you'll do the opposite of what I tell because you think I'm sabotaging you. I just think they're all bad, so if you can provide any merit to me, I'll listen. interested in your thoughts on that one. 
They seem all bad. So no matter what you say, I could have randomly picked it anyways. Found the guy I can take off. It's a stone. Stone Harpy. <laughs> the one person I can take off. Is there anyone else in this city that's not doing anything useful? Holy cow. Everyone's important. useful to have these packs so I can trade, so I can lower the hostility. I'm on 60 lowered hostility. What a good, what a good unit. Alright, well, time to pick something now that I have an extra. So, choice number one, tools. Oh, I actually have, holy, I have the blue. Alright, well, that's an easy thing, then. And then... This one gets me religion. That one gets me baths, which I already have. Good health. Global production rate is faster. I can't actually afford that. Religion, huh? Eh, whatever. Now, do I have something that buffs that? Each unique service building adds two. Oh, yes. Oh, was there a unique service building there that I forgot to take? on the previous choice. That that was correct, I forgot I had the thing. I'm like scouring my my town for slackers. And I'm pleased to say no one is slacking in this town. In fact The guy I thought was slacking had a really important job. Workshop did work this game, but it's time to turn it off. I'm 
Let's see, no one eats... No, oh, no. I was gonna be like, no one eats jerky here, but that's wrong. What is this? Producing double yields? Okay. Global Reserve 100. Why is it only 100? Can't I reserve 200 and build additional geyser pumps and rain collectors to increase tank capacity? Oh, these don't have any capacity themselves, huh? Wait. Global Reserve 0 out of 0. Oh, these are 50. I see. So on top of that, I need tanks, which have a capacity of 50. So I need to build four of these. Great. You needed the advanced rain collector. I mean, needed is a strong word. I could always just build four, you know? We now follow the uh, Forsaken Altar as our religion of choice. these guys but I need the I need this hmm. Eighteen out of twenty. That's so sad. think you got it. What do you mean, I think you got it? It's a slam dunk victory. I just have to be careful not to win too fast. Oh, I always get sabotaged by this point post. Of course I'm gonna take it off just as it's important. And then I'll forget to put them on. I don't even know what to say. Monastery, temple... Okay, let me think. There was something I needed to do. Wait, Dangerous Glade Events completed 3 out of 4. Am I missing one? I mean, that implies I'm missing one, obviously, but... I could have sworn I did one. But I... Wait! <laughs> oh, no. I never got around to this. Okay, 
Okay, we have a ton of merit. I was like, yeah, I could have sworn that was checked off. I was like, yeah, I did four. Like, oh, oops. All stored amber and wine will be lost. My money! My money! The money! You lied when you said there's no downside to attacking. One hour, traveler? Holy cow. Ron Empire has so many lies. We would have lost without the attack. Really? No, no, the second attack. You got tools. I mean, that's just RNG. I could have just bought the tools. In fact, one could say that buying the tools was probably a better, uh, better play than attacking. You just wanted to see the exciting play. He gave you bars. Oh yeah, that's pretty lucky. It's very lucky, okay? Not like I needed it or anything, but okay. So cautious going at 1x speed here. Gotta be, right? Gotta be. You have only one life to live. Put it on my tab. Hidden reward.
So these goods will not go back because you need someone to send them in. But we'll, we'll test out the thing. Let's see. Okay, see, there's two plant fiber in here. And my inventory is... Three plant fiber, which is in here. So if I destroy this, oh wait, no, that doesn't help. That's not an X. So I mean, I agree that certainly that dying will uh, not give you back the plant fiber, but if it's an X, I think it gives it back. <laughs> it could have been done faster. I'm poor. No. You know what would be sad if I won the game and it ticked my water down to 299. So for that reason, I'll make my max 350. Now that's five head. Just disable all consumers. You win during pause in an instant. Eh, this is easier. Wait, we're winning too fast. Oh, crap. Hold it, hold it. Oh, panic. Oh my god. So I win in one minute. Hold on, I actually need to pause and think about this. Okay, wait, we're fine. Rain gathers really fast. <laughs> Almost blunder. It seems that not too much time has passed. The ship looks operational again. 
20 pipe, 30 sea marrow. Good reward. Followers of the Forsaken Gods. As you make your way through the wilds, you hear a faint humming, an eerie song in a strange language. If I win with 10 dead villagers, I gain mushrooms and 4 reserve embarkation points. All your starting caravans will have 2 fewer villagers, but you will gain 4 seal fragments. You will also be rewarded for reserve embarkation points. I did that one, it's good. You mean the ritual, right? Win before your eight ends after ten villagers have died. If you succeed, you'll gain four reserve and twenty mushrooms. Yeah, twenty mushrooms for the fun finale is pretty good. So we got twenty-three years. I can obviously do two things or one thing. I can even do three things. But oh look, because this is the exclamation mark. Uh, if that were like one of these, then I'd have to go here and then. But yes, I can just go here and then straight there. I was going to go here and then plus two over here. You have an insane amount of embark points, don't you? Let's see, so we're at 99. After doing this, I'll be at like 106, I presume. Let me just check real quick. We have 11 points, so I'll have 15 points. That's good. <clears throat> I meant reserve stuff I have like for. Yeah, so I'm going to have 15, assuming I don't bring anything here. I might bring stuff here. And 20 mushrooms, and two guys, and 30 oil instead of 20 coal, and 20 pipes, and 30 sea marrow, and 3 wildfire essence. So, I'm looking pretty. Also, if I want to, I can get another thing. If I really wanted to... I could go here first, take plus four more embarkation points, and then go here, and then go there. If I was playing for maximum chance to win, wouldn't that be the best move? No, you can't. Why? Oh, this goes away. Right. I could do this and then a P20 and then that, but yeah, I'll just do here and then here. So, 15 prestige minimum. Oh, these are some bad wagons. Bad wagon. Bad wagon. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, what does 10, 11, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? Uh, 16. I don't have to do 16, we can do 15. More resolve needed to gain reputation. <laughs> hey, odd one. Do you have a hundred and seven or hundred and six? Then I can at least tie you on seal fragments. Then if somehow we both <laughs> and then if we tie, we'll both get something. If we both get 6th place or something. What was it? Prestige 16. One fewer blueprint. Oh, wow. That's vicious. You guys are in top 5. 
You say that so confidently, but I don't think you have the data. People said, like, my path was really straightforward, but look at this beautiful curvy path. I'm at 108, so if you really want a rat, you got a P20. <laughs> Wait, rat. I just want a tie. So P20 gets me 9 for 108. I see, so that would be a tie. Nah, well, I'll go 15. I wouldn't risk it how many years you got anyway. Yeah, I mean, I could easily do this and then like just, oh, and then go like one forward. Can you go one? Yes, you can go one forward. Go here, go one forward, and then go two forward. But we're not going to bother. We're just going to go straight over. I have three years left, but I'm just going to seal. Oh, you have the same thing. No, you don't. Oh, you have the same thing. So you could go two and then one and then... I mean, you could go one and then two. Yeah, I see. Oh, well, I have five more years than you. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so win before your aid ends with ten dead villagers. It's basically no downside, because I'll, uh, I usually have 10 villagers randomly die anyways. If I want to do it, you can always just have... You think you can win it in one year again and again? No, it's, uh, if you have any amount of time, you can... Oh, no downside, I see, if you, uh, yeah. If you win without 10 villagers dying, but really easy to get 10 villagers to die. Oh, you mean, yes, if there's one year on the cycle bar, you can definitely do a run and then get the freebie run at the end. If you sacrifice them, does that count? I believe that means they die, yes. Which is actually a good idea, because then we can save some of our food. I was wondering if there was a way to, like, back out of that choice. There is. Alright, so I'll do a P15. Uh, again, the added challenges here are... Fewer blueprints to choose from, fewer cornerstone choices, and patience falls less on gaining a rep. More resolve needed to gain rep. And we have, uh, sparse wagons out here. Do I want to spend a point? So after this, I'll have 15 points. If I were to send 15 points out... It'd be something like this. 4, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14. And sometimes these scores are higher. Your only problem versus me is your resources are thin for Forsaken. 270 is needed. Oh. 117, 120, 136. Dang. He could kill people on the last one, you mean? So 117, 120, I've 136, plus this is 226, you need 270. Um, altar. So I guess this means I also want to try to avoid using the altar on this one. Huh? I didn't realize you needed 270 on the last one. Uh, yeah, I can sacrifice people, but I wonder if I actually want to do another one after this one. And it gets me thinking. 
Because I, I do want to actually succeed, and I have the time, so... Like, getting a third charge of the... Actually, the third charge of the altar doesn't matter much, right? Uh, so, never mind. I won't really care. Right, but let's worry about this one. Uh, Prestige 15. Let's go. It's only one to bring 30 wood. No, no, no. That's... I'm sure I can do a basic P15, right? Yeah. If I can't do a basic P15, I'm not worthy of the queen. Alright. All resource nodes discovered during Drizzle have more charges. Fuel consumption increased. Recipes producing building materials yield fewer goods. Two blight rot cysts appear in the settlement, multiplied by the number of years that have passed. When does this happen, by the way? Probably right at the tick, right? Or whenever you get it. So I guess at four. That's a lot of cysts. A really annoying one. Five sec cooldown. Oh, uh, as well as at the, the top. Alright, so I gotta make sure I don't hit four for a while. Alright, this is the archaeological one. Archaeology one. Which I haven't done very often. Okay, so I begin with only eight guys. Definitely used to having more guys. A little bit more food than usual. Fewer guys than usual, so my food will last longer than I'm used to. I'll do my patented start. Oh, fewer choices. Hmm, porridge. Got the foxy guys. Pretty sure I want to pick porridge. I just hate that it's only two-star porridge, and that's the only reason why I'm picking them. The tea is good someday, sure. Alright, here I don't know which one to pick. Grain roots veggies. Grain roots. They are on the map. Okay, anyways, my patented opening. Makeshift post. have to start off by opening a pack. These packs are awesome. Three clay per minute. Nice and basic, I guess. Yeah, good solid one.
You can unassign the fire keeper for a little while when you start with few workers. Yeah, good call, honestly. Get that little efficiency. Alright, complete three glade events. Or 20 values sold, so obviously I'll do bow. So it's just a question of this one I'll do faster, which is more important, especially given that I did my pack start. Get the guys faster. Three glade events might take a while. But that is six box of tools. Hmm. I'm gonna take left. I think it's really close. I think those are two of my usual top picks. Uh, three trade routes, five pack. All right, that one I can do pretty fast. It's four guys. Yeah, got like my two pot top picks. Good stuff. Go build! Look, you've got some time. I never noticed that this is like the little fire ticking down to this thing. It reminds me of bringing your uh, goalie out of the soccer net thing. What do you gain from the fire? Uh, if it's not there, your people are super scared because the world is spooky. Okay, this is already applying the half value. Oh, that might have been why the deals looked so good last time because all the stuff was getting half valued. And that makes the trade routes look really good, doesn't it? began the art of min-maxing my firekeeper. Especially useful because 
Someone's gotta build all these houses. Why not the fire keeper? This reminds me of driving and your fuel tank is showing empty. Like, oh man, should I go refuel it? Okay. It's always longer. It lasts longer than the gauge says. is going up. Fire keeper assigned to the main hearth. The fire will die out and your villagers will perish. It's pretty blatant on warning at least. So with the drama. Yeah, yeah, okay. Technically, the wheels, they leave. It's true. Um, technically. Am I out of food already? Holy cow. Right side brings valuable food, but the left side brings one more guy. Of course, left.
The human says, fertile soil here. Basics done, housing, trade, got the main stuff up, all of the food uh, lasted less than I had expected. And uh, possibly should have been gathering food for longer, might have to make up for it by building another thing or something, I don't know, mm, rough. I'm not entirely sure I can even take on the squid right now. Let me think about this for a second. Maybe it's wrong to open this glid at the beginning of day two. Um, I need to see whether or not I can forage for something. Is that really true? After the last one, I'm scared. The post might have some eggs. Alas, good idea though. I don't. Th so basically, my choices are to just open a small. Eh, I'm, I'm gonna open this, but. I'm scared. I'm scared. Twelve fox, eighteen or ten lizard, twenty-two resolve. Druid's Hut Butcher. Druid's Hut? Twelve foxes. That's You're definitely closer to that. I can do math. Two additional lizards will come with each group of newcomers. Oh man, if I do this super fast. The dream. So happy lizards is the goal. Oh? Oh? Perform ritual. Decreases hostile. Holy. Yo. Oil. What the? How do I still have 30 oil? Oh, I began with sea marrow. That's so exciting. Ah, big start. Huge start. Ah, 30 oil is so good. I know that's a magic number. Magical number. Oh! You have a farm, Sahilda! But I'm broke! You temptress! Ah. <laughs> Just attack her. Wow. He has so many types of farms, too. She has the herbalist camp, she has the forger's camp, furniture, she's got all those, and I'm starving here. Wow, do I just attack? Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, I have to make sure I'm not getting trolled. What do we got here? Alarm bells. Workers have higher chance of producing double yields on the harsh expectation corruption rate. 150 or higher. Unlock all blue all camp blueprints. Oh, isn't this the map where that's really good? No. Average amount. Hmm, interesting. Gathering speed is decreased by 50 until you use up at least 300 resource node charges. 
300 seems like a lot. But getting all the camps seems like a lot. What, just decreases the efficiency by 50%? It's not a big deal, is it? Hmm. It's so tempting. But also free up this forager's camp. Oh, this is a different one too. I already need two camps. Herbalist camp. Forager's camp. I want it. I want it. I want it. Master Blueprint unlocks all camp blueprints and upgrades all small camps to their advanced versions. The gathering speeds decrease by 50% until you use up at least 300 resource nodes. Hmm. I don't have the gears for that. But I want it. None of my things gives gears, but I want it. But it's a bad idea. I already have this thing. That's the roots right there. Alright, skip. Workers have plus 25% chance of producing double yields when the heart's expected corruption rate is 150% or higher. That one also seems good. Hmm. Pretty situational. I think I reroll. I love producing double yields, though. Ah, but I'll take forever. Alright, reroll, reroll. Um. Okay, secure perimeter. Nice safe thing. Market shift plan. Plus two more trade routes. Plus two more trade routes is like plus 40 buck, kind of. I have nothing to sell. I'll take secure perimeter. Nice and boring. So. Oh, it's also good on the excavation now. So I'll take Forager's Camp. And they'll get me the roots. And the roots can get me the Roots can make flour. So that's a provisioner. Cool. We have synergetic picks even with fewer picks. Very good. Provisioner costs so much money. This doesn't look like the type of building that needs to be front and center.
The perimeter one is lame since it only kicks in after Forbidden, so if it kicks in before it's an exploit. Oh, wait, I didn't even pay attention to this. What? Did I not read? Securing the deadliest corners of the forest will make it all less terrifying. Every discovered Forbidden Glade lowers the hostility gained from dangerous and Forbidden Glades by six. Oh, wow. I never read that. <laughs> Too long didn't read. Every discovered Forbidden Glade. Oh, so if you discover two Forbidden Glades, that's really good, isn't it? Alright, so I got a Forbidden Glade two steps to the right. I got a Forbidden Glade left, down, down. So we got down, right, and to right. So I really want to go Forbidden. Up, right, r up, right, up, left, okay, the left's too hard. Secure the perimeter, I like it. If I take a pick like that, it definitely strongly pushes me towards Aggressive blade play, which I don't think I've actually done yet. As much as I often say I want to go aggressive blades, I always chicken out and don't actually do it. Because I recognize that I am mortal. Okay, you're two. Any particular goals? Being the provisioner up would be nice. I have the resources for that. The provisioner allows me to build packs at cheaper. I have nothing that can go into provisions. There's these eggs. How does anyone get enough? <laughs> they do a quest that gives spears, I guess. Hmm. I built this building, but it's pointless. Because the herbs do not get me towards this. In fact, I can't even build that top right one because I don't... wait.
Basically, right now I can make flour. The flour is pointless. And I have no planks and fabric. But, this is a really good totem. Wow, even helps decorate the place. OP OP. Year three, I open this glade and I actually work my way towards the northwest. In the meantime, we survive on herbs. I feel like I need to actually get a second source of food, otherwise we're probably not going to stay positive. But. I don't have enough gears, we only have two gears. How is anyone supposed to get anything done with two gears? Well, the answer is, I guess, this just expired, so we can re-salvage it. I really want to get packed. That implies that I get the egg thingy. Wait, no, this should just get moved over here. Wait, that's not this thing. Six herbs somehow. I need to cash those in for a pack.
Huh. Herb Garden. Could use it, but I have no money. Well, you pulled, huh? 175 storm water used. That's pretty easy. 12 trade routes. That's pretty easy. I like the right reward more. Use rainwater. Trade. Two neighborhoods. The right side looks more rewarding. Three plant fiber per minute. Or get ancient tablets. This is the map where ancient tablets are really good. Wow, we can be like some sort of sick archaeologist on this one. I think that's fun. Maybe we'll find a dinosaur out here. Fun fact, I know that tablets are good on this map, but I have not actually successfully used tablets on this map yet. Maybe this will be it. We got the perimeter secure, we got the tablet thing. There's some sort of a uh, combo afoot here. All right, this got four parts in it and a lot of treasure. Looks good. Tear it down. Every 20 food produced, four blight rod cysts are spawned. Wait. Ugh. Wait a second. Contaminated liquid gets inside rain engines through underground pipes. Using water in rain engines generates blight rot cysts 50% quicker. Oh, no downside. Interesting. Yeah, orderable. Okay, we got clothier, we got a forager's camp. That makes... Uh, what's the one I have? But that's basically three gears. That's still good. It's less good, though, because I had to use a recipe. Apothecary tea incense biscuits. Okay, biscuits. I have a way... I get roots. I turn the roots into flour. Flour plus herbs. So yes, yeah, so I need to get food. I can let that one blow. I'd love to pick this up. Which, perhaps, with the help of foragers, camp by camp.
All right, step one, get some food. Step three, win the game. Step one is to get a lot of herbs. Roots. And then use those roots to hire the guys. Get the forger's camp. Get the roots. Hire the guys. Get the guys. Uh, get enough food that I can tear this down. It's probably in about 10 minutes, so next day. is starting to set in. this day already. I was like, where'd my planks go? And uh, I see. I only have one human, wow.
They should be in the opposite position. Oh no, I don't have three parts. Oh no. Definitely feels a little slow. Not much I can do at this point. Other than bemoan my slowness. Curses me for being slow. Fox blight fighter died, cause hunger. Unlucky. Yeah, I guess at 300%, you don't have to be at 100% readiness to stop it, it looks like. I might barely stop it. It's better than expected. I thought I had gotten three people dead. Okay. 
Okay, day four. Plans. Shop to back late, I guess. Things that are good. The wood supply is fine. I have eight packs. I have a lot of clay. Three clay per minute. I've got basic building resources. Bad news. A lot of people unemployed. One person dead. No actual trade goods in this area. This is gonna be really close. If this goes off, oh boy. Wow. Alright, we're good. Whew. A fox blight fighter died. Again? No, last one. Definitely don't want to spawn all those blight rod cysts in this area. The buildings I unlocked were a visioner tea house. Pretty sure I should have been using the tea house faster, but it would have been really hard to use the tea house. Start. I'd like to think if I actually took the thing that got me food at 50% speed, I'd, I'd have died horribly. <sighs> okay. Play is this place export. Places export. Impatience grows slower for 180 seconds every time you finish a trade route. I do plan on continuing to trade. I guess I'll take that. It's tempted to just take ten dollars. Okay, I have the chance to get ahead here by buying some plank. Valley of Goods Sold, that'll finally achieve one of those quests. Pack of Crops. Never really realistic because of 
lack of food. What I need is... I need to build a wow rain collector, which takes gears, which I don't have. You obviously don't have gears. I can get five gears by killing those, but those are my sources of food. There's four gears in here? So it just seems like getting water isn't very realistic off of a water collector. Alright. Good analysis, good analysis. All resources discovered during drizzle season have more charges. So I've got the herbs that could be turned into food, but I need water, which I don't have. So we need to find a geyser. It would be nice to find a geyser. I can't really think of what to spend my eight bucks on. I might get inspiration if this guy's still around when I break this. I have eleven guys, so I guess we do this. What happened to opening forbidden glades for the perk? Uh, forbidden glades are scary. I mean, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's like a year five or year six task. Probably year six, six at this rate. Workshop. Cool. Large destroyed caravan. A destroyed caravan? Is that me? Ooh, five parts. Eight fear. Yeah. Good event. Sabotage, the blight post sabotage. No Nice to have a small warehouse here, but it's a luxury. That I doubt I have. Because I'm poor.
Okay, we have a provisioner, which didn't do much other than build a few provisions. We have a tea house, which hasn't done much other than sit here. We have... The upgraded camp, which is actually doing something. So I guess if I were to blame something, it'd be up to my two buildings that aren't doing anything. Problem solver. I did it. I finally solved my first problem. Maybe I'll get a good thing here. Oh, that's the difficulty of this level, isn't it? I only got two choices, so the chances of me getting something good were less jerky. Nope, no meat out here. So coats? Only one person wears clothing here. Reroll! That's a reroll for sure. This is trash. Ugh, good use of the money, I guess. Bribe the envoy, get a new set of blueprints. Coats, useless. Smokehouse, useless. Insects and meat. They don't exist on this map. Ah. Grill. Mushroom. Mushroom, I believe, doesn't exist on this map either. The smithy is decent. A lot of copper on this map. But that is a long-term thing. But I guess we pick it. Bakery and ranch. Oh, um, ranch. We have a bunch of stuff I can feed in the meat. That will get me out of my food problem. But we also have this, which is something for the. Wow, two good things to get this time. I think the problem with this one is that it's not sustainable. The bakery is also not sustainable, but it gets me more stuff. Getting the bakery allows me to use the provisioner, which turns the 7 to 10. The 7 to 10 is a plus 3. And then 8 plus... 3 equals 10, 6 plus 4 equals 10. Hmm. Why does this suddenly not look that good? It also gets me stuff. Uh, Baker angle, I guess.
Okay, so that gives us a production line. Okay, the food is welcome. That allows me to work on these guys, since I have enough food now. For every 20 food produced, four blight rot cysts are spawned in the settlement. I don't know how many... F I, I think I need a gigantic amount of food before I do that. What's a big amount of food? Let me think. Um, let me think about this. People go on break roughly. People roughly eat two things every two minutes. Wait, no. Two minutes break. Eat one thing. Four minutes. Eat two things. I have 27 guys. So 54 food. Over four minutes. So at about 100 food, I do this. Oh no, my big food ran out. Oh no. I thought that would last forever. Well, hold on. If I'm I'm not producing food right now, am I? This is the time. You're out of food too, huh?
every 20 food produced salvage does this produce food does anyone know i don't think that would be production right I'm going to Google this question if no one answers. Let's see. Against the storm, salvage counts as production? Question mark? Against the storm. What is production? <laughs> I'm just going to assume it doesn't. And if I'm wrong, it'll spawn white cis, whatever. So how... This is not food production. The porridge, when produced, will spawn it, but we can wait on the porridge. Now let's see, I have 12 idle people. Let's see, if I put these guys here so they're happier, can I, can I actually chop stuff? Maybe we... no, no. Two parts. eat food this whole time, can I? No, you can just produce some... Yeah, just produce some food, it's fine. I need that cloth. Large destroyed caravan. Oh, there's food in here. Nice. Also five gears. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Thank goodness I have that minus 50 hostility. This is amazing. I have so many guys and I can't think of what to do with them. Or rather, I know stuff I can do with them, but... You have to demolish something else to do him, which I guess means demolish away. There's also a mine here. Which is probably my next use. I think this tells me that I should get a workshop somewhere near here. Warehouse, yes. all coming together. Finally, I can make this porridge. 
It's been a long time coming. We have a bakery with exactly one set of flour. This is some small scale production. I'm actually getting a good chunk of food here and there. Between the double salvage, the other stuff. We might be on the up and up. Let's see, I export clay here. So bricks should be exportable. I need to do trade routes. Can I funnel you pack of crops? No. Still no. Monde. Okay, wow. Found a way to employ the people. Making some progress. Small, tiny progress. One step at a time. But, I have no way left to get flour. Not much to do except move on to the next. Next blade. That has four of those in there. I basically need to... I'm, I need to use this red thing, unfortunately. I didn't want to have to use the Forsaken Altar because I need the materials for the next one. Possible I don't have to use it. Maybe, maybe. Definitely feel like I'm off to a slow start. But maybe, maybe? Let's see, what kind of cool stuff do I have? We have a lot of pipes. Pipes can be used to boost a blue building. We do have lots of unemployment. Those guys are just chilling there, because it's hot. We have 30 scrolls, that's cool stuff, 20 pigment, 2 ancient tablet, scouts, can carry four additional items and move 7% faster for every two ancient tablet. Scouts for every two reputation gains. Blah, blah. Let's 
Scouts can carry additional items and move faster for every two ancient tablets. Everything. The smoothie can't be used right now. The tea house is getting used. Provisioner got used once briefly. So thorough the ancient. 25% the clearance duration. That's really good. Give me more time. Actually feels like I'm finally out of the out of debt and I can uh, do stuff. Getting green is actually useful. Even if it takes this food to use this. I need my five packet crops. I think things are starting to turn around. Uh, workshop running distance is a little long. Expected gain three. Ooh. Hidden reward. Didn't I oh, double hidden reward on this map. Ancient strength. Plus twelve additional items move twenty-one percent faster. Scout power. Ron said, X does auto return when you delete it. Thanks for testing it and confirming. I'm glad you uh, decided to test it instead of assuming I was wrong. Okay, this makes oil. That's. And it's got parts.
Hmm. Believe I have cleared this glade too slow. So I'll just use this as a setup turn. So we can start doing this wild clear. And then we can secure the perimeter. I didn't realize the how long term the cornerstone I took was. Minus 10 hostility for every ancient tablet. Minus 60. Cool. Definitely 15 flanks is the right way to go. That gives me a tiny bit of grain, which I can use to build 20 flour. We're really getting somewhere here now. Zero food is a little bit concerning. I'm gonna run out of herbs soon. Herb Garden. My 13 unemployed people run! to turn this in but the reward is so small. the drizzle. Things look really stable right now, but they're about to go really badly.
I don't have productive things to do with my guys. I guess very temporarily I can pretend I have everything under control. Melter. Okay. So we got that um, chain here now. I have a ton of copper. Walter Smithy. We need so much timber, lumber. So poor. I think I need to open these glades at the end of this season so I can get cracking on it. season lasts longer. Hmm. I might double open the no no no. thought about the smelter can just by themselves make training gear. And then the boxes can have cool stuff. That's the out. Holy crap, there's 70. Oh, that's a that's a box right there. How long have I had this smelter? No, I just got it.
things can turn around, but... But we're slow. Altar of Decay. Tear it down. I have the resources. Get food. Perform the ritual. I can perform the ritual. Reduce hostility every time a villager dies or leaves. Oh, how bad of a shape am I in? Also, we are actually role-playing if we do this one. Interesting. I think this is going to be a very bad night. And we're about to turn the corner. It's going to be too slow. By the time I get this, I'll be good. The altar. Is it retroactive? You can use that to kill 10 people. What do you mean? Oh. It's not like killing people is... Wait, this is retro? Reduce hostility every time a villager dies or leaves. Bloody sacrifices delay the forbidden rituals at the Altar of Decay. Reduce hostility. Oh, well. Sorry, you, know. you won me over. I used it to go minus 820, cancel and spam it. What? My guys are gonna naturally die. I am starving. I'm like, I can't even comprehend what you're suggesting here. But it seems like someone who's gone mad. Art thou mad? Using Altar Decay. Look at all the people that are about to die. I don't need to cause my people to die. It's possible we're just like talking past each other because I don't understand how the altar works. Hopefully you meant it when I asked if it was retroactive. I don't know why you want to have, you know, people die right now when, uh, when people are going to be, I guess they're gonna, they're gonna be leaving, not dying, I guess that's a problem. Well, no, that's not a problem. It's, is it per death or, oh, dies or leaves, okay, we're good.
Oh, I do have a ton of blight. Which is... Good thing I accidentally pulled more fuel. Well, I guess uh, a few people will die. Which is apparently not bad. I can just pretend that I'm role-playing followers of the Forsaken Gods. I might actually have a problem with losing the game, though. Wait, this is... this is bad. I don't have, like, a quest to complete. I don't have the resources for this thing. Also, I never managed to get the Forsaken Altar up because I don't have enough resources to praise the old gods. This is bad. Thank goodness it's not Prestige 20. It was just a little bit slow every single time this game. Just a little bit slow. Arguably a lot too slow. This might be the end for me. Wait. 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 Do you have enough for a lockbox? around. Those two are really good. Oh, this one's good too. 30, 40, 20. This one's got the tablet. This one's 30, 40, 20. Mm. This one is... What was I thinking? Why am I considering this one over that one? They're both pretty close, at least. Idling. Why are you idling? Oh. I'm not gonna make it. Unless I don't lose anyone right now. I'll make it if I don't lose anyone. 
Oh wait, unless the hearth blows up. Panic. Stay calm. Hmm. I don't have enough to sustain that, but. Maybe I do. Why are these guys idling? No fuel, there's 18 in there. Oh! Oh. Opened the cache too quickly. Can I, like, if I just unassign these guys, does that pause the timer? Oh, opened the wrong. Oh, right. Okay, well, I guess that's good too. Oh no, two minutes. Oh no, I'm ruined! Okay, I actually have sea marrow, don't burn that. It's over! Too many mistakes, too many misplays. Wait, wait, it's not over. It's not over. We haven't made the last misplay. Fail out, fail out. <laughs> Draw it every second. Alright. Queen's impatience plus 0.02 per minute. That is really low. The queen likes an exciting finish, apparently. Because you traded. Delete warehouse to transport cyst. I don't think that'll matter much. Trade stuff that's fast. Oh. Unfortunately, we have nothing.
do you all see what's hidden in storage? Do you all? Buy extra choices. Oh, holy cow. You're going hard. Impatience is growing 30% slower due to a recently finished trade route. <laughs> You're trying really hard to save this run. Okay, let's see. How much money do I have? If it's only plus 0.02 per minute, that means I have a full minute before this blows. And then in a mi wait, actually, if it's one entire minute, then that's perfect because that means this cache gets opened. Wait, no, yes, yes, that's perfect. Okay, so, so the timing is good. So we do nothing and it'll work out. Oh no! <laughs> wait, that's it's. Oh wait, no, that's good. Ninety nine is fine. All right, we're good. All right, all right, all right. Um. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I guess that's all the water off, okay. Shift click the blight. Trick? Hmm. And <laughs> trick. <sighs> okay, alright. 13.84, next to Queen's icon. Oh, hold shift and press LMB to stop all rain. Okay, cool. Plus two wood production after each storm, all stored wood is removed and you get 50 insects. That's pretty good. Okay, I, can this go to zero? It would be bad. I want the queen to blow up while I'm opening this lockbox. You can hide wood, interesting. So we want this to blow up in, let's see, about a minute so that this can trigger. And then I've got the, hmm. I actually want her to blow up faster, so I'm immune for longer. Kill the traitor. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ron is bailing me out of this run, man. Okay, I need to make sure I don't starve. Ooh. 
Newcomers? Food? Oh! We have to take this because if anyone dies by starving, then I lose. Because my timer is one minute. Okay, this is now plus 0.08 per minute. Oh, that's... wait, per minute? Oh, I need to just take those. Okay, that's fine. It's actually fine for it to just slow down if I just take them off and then... Anyways, where was I? If anyone dies right now, I lose, so we have to take the eggs for safety. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Chance to. Inspect things very carefully. I somehow got bailed out of this. Okay, so first of all, I need to get a food supply. Finally got farms up. <laughs> Six years in, first of all, I need a food supply. Yes, it's been rough, man. It's been rough. This has been a rough game. Hello. Oh, while I'm paused, no one can hurt me. Okay, six idle people somehow. Workshop is the critical thing since I need it in order to build a second neighborhood. So I can get this down to like two seconds of work, huh? And then just pull them off. Seems like a good strategy. Okay. That means I should do these trades. Patience. Oh, after you finish a trade route. No, it's not even the right order. Okay. Give yourself 20 seconds lead time because they might take a coffee break. Well. If you auto-collect off, you can control that. 
Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's worth microing right now. Okay, I have to think about how to... Okay, it's gonna be the neighborhood that pushes me on the next one. And over here, I'm never gonna want to choose Kiln. So Temple, Temple gets me... Religion and Education. Religion is good. Education is bad here? Peddler. Eh. Oh, I can actually do that one. Sell a pack of trade goods. I thought I had trade goods. Oh, sell them. Cool. Oh, Queen. Hold on, Queen. Also, um, let's see. Point oh nine per minute. Oh no, Sahilda leaves in two seconds! Wait, I can attack her now. I think this is the timing, yes. Attack her. Queen's mad. Unlock the chest. Let's do it. Use the altar decay to kill more. Oh. They're already dead. Why would I want to feed less people? I actually got food from Sahilda. Best time to do it because you don't lose impatience. Yeah, but I need my people to run my city. Something, something. There's clearly something that I'm not getting here. It's like you say losing people is a good thing. And I must not be big brain enough to understand. Minus 20 hostility per people. Oh! Oh. Wait. How do I kill people? If I cancel and start this, then I'd have to restart the entire thing. Also, I'm trying to win by year 8. I think if I lose that many people, I won't be able to do that. I'm pretty sure I'm good as is, right?
Don't we actually want to finish this? You have seven minutes timer. What? Best time to kill people. I am clearly just not understanding what you're saying. I don't believe I want to kill my people right now. Your hostility is high. Or storm. What, because of all my people? I usually have way more people in this. If I understand what you're saying, you want me to cancel this five minute timer and then restart it. This thing that I took so much effort to tick all the way down to one minute. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I disagree. I can't do it! I can't do it. You have failed your persuasion check. Alright, need to get myself 20 seconds for copy break, and push, uh, apparently. And travel distance. Let me just do it now. Too spooky. It's only minus 0.5. That's right. Holy cow. Okay, so I have to set up a whole new neighborhood here. But I don't have the resources. I'm I'm getting it kind of a little bit, but anyways, um, ten I need to not build these. I need the bricks. Not deluded. This needs to be built, and then I need to get like enough guys in range. Hmm. I wonder if just moving things around will get me there. We need to really specifically set up, what is it that I need to set up here? A neighborhood. These can move for free, so I need a lot of guys to build this. Thank you. 
need to sell my ancient tablets. Okay, plus 0.09 per minute. Game's in slow motion right now. This is the corruption day. I think the ancient hearth was like at 99% or something too. I need a lot of wood. A ton of wood. So much wood. Basically, I've got a mix of boxes that I can open and or break. This one should be opened. And it sucks to break it. Should have. I think I only see one box. First order is doable? Hmm. Yeah, let's see where all my lizards are. I guess most of them are currently unemployed, so they're not working. They're Hmm. I need so much wood. No lizard has it here. Seven brick. short. Okay, so I think I have an order in the bag, which means I have another minute at least to struggle. And then I should definitely get that lizard result. Alright, I finally got the converted altar of decay. Passive effects. Expected gain minus 240. Wow. Hostilities reduced by nine, minus 20 points for every villager that leaves this element or dies. <laughs> so we had... 22 people leave or die. Impressive. Go to heaven. The Queens and Patience plus point oh two per minute. 
need apparently to do the super fast trade routes to cheese this out. I draw that out. safety. Praise Ron Empire. He knows what he's talking about. Every dirty trick to get me through that one. Not over yet, though. But after losing twenty two people, we still got a still got an empire going. figure out where the archaeological site is as well. Let me see, I got the... the can't stockpile wood thing, so I need to spend the wood. Spend, spend, spend. I think I just figured out how to save the wood. You build a bunch of parks, huh? And then you can just destroy them. Oh, that's a lot of cysts. Altar is best. Altar. Park? <laughs> Altar. Oh, altar. Oh, interesting. I can also just actually build a bunch of these. Let's see. Do I need another thing? No, 333, that's fine. I'm pre prepared. I'm prepared. Pre prepared. I just realized I never got this minus 80 hostility thing. It's probably good. I was working towards it and got distracted. Look at these planks. It's a pretty big distraction, to be fair. Yeah. 
Um, hmm. Druid's hut. We need to start building oil. We actually need wood. We need to stop spending wood. That's a little too far, huh? That one's pretty close. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. It's like, why would I want to not have people when, when, I pay food to have people come? Insane. Absolute insanity. so scary to break anything. I, I need to open more glades so I get more boxes so then I can actually use the weapons on some of the boxes. Okay, one glade pretty close over there. After this store, I'm gonna lose all my wood. Huh? Very exciting modify. After each storm, all stored wood is removed. I don't think I have to like hide the wood this time because I'm using the wood. Viewers. Only how oh, two people like that. Trappers can. I can pick up all the eggs. I'm gonna have insects come in. I'll have roots. Skewers it is. We need more planks.
I wonder if everyone has their, like, personal favorite number of people that they work with. Mine is 100. We need at least 100 people in our city, or I can't get excited. Now, I'm not actually sure. How do you purposely kill off people? When I need to get to that. Which is not now, but... Someday. Hide the wood! So it seems like the most likely way I'll be dealing with it is going to be... ...the blight. when we get there. guys are doing. Oh, they're bringing that. Bakery production is quicker. The ancient hearth's resistance is increased. Bakery? So I happen to have exactly a bakery? Oh, what the? Alright. Bakery game? It's such an oddly specific. Get level 2 and you get more resist to corruption. Must win next year. Yeah, sure. So this year... I need to get three people to die to this hearth. Interesting stuff. Pretty specific road. Now, where was I? I haven't found the dig site yet. We've, uh... <laughs> We've had... Small crises. No, I decided to go for the... Mass tablets.
I figured I'd just randomly find it since I'm uh, going for so many glitz. Right. If I fail to, I can always just sacrifice people. That's a good idea. In the temple. am I finally going to get the 15th point for this? Holy cow. Do I have it? 14 flank. Something I was gonna do, but I definitely just forgot what it was. Oh, yes. How do I not have 15 planks still? Who's eating my planks? It's you. Be eating my planks. The training recipe is maxed out. They're not eating my planks. But we can rescue this and then get this fly. Emma here. Low on food? 
I thought we went. I thought we were over this. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, well, I'm just gathering the food now. It'll be fine. Maybe? I only got herbs and uh, roots. Harmony Spirit Altar. Two to Global Resolve. Don't have this stuff, but I can make it in the Druid's Hut pretty easily. Might run out though. Hmm. I don't think it'll be here in time. I better burn it down. And take the same thing, just less of it. Food. Worth opening. This is also worth opening. as well. The queen finally wants to do something about me. You are too generous for your time, queen. Alright, 
I'm tired of this. Zorg. A Zorg? Hmm, what direction do I go here? It's time to actually get resolve. We want to get the cool stuff. I can't believe someone came to visit me. You're so cool, Zorg. He's dead now. Free stuff. <laughs> Holy cow. You're a monster. What am I going to use my money and heart for? Right now I have the chance to like get the best stuff. Oh, all right, all right. You're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. Buy what you need first. Oh, trade for the stuff, steal the rest. Oh. I see. Okay. Oh, we lost five guys. Zorg was powerful. The hostility. That's strong. This must have been how the old people played. You know, the old, uh, before us. Praise to the old ones. Now you got her event done, just win. Oh, yeah, okay, just win. Yep. I definitely was waiting to win.
Just use the office to get your two points. Orders, you mean? Use the office? Wait, what? It takes three solves to complete. Oh, you mean... Hold on, let's see. Any villager loss will be prevented. All workers get a 10% chance for every... Oh, but don't we want this? If you keep trying to find it. But we can get double yields. Woo! If you keep trying to find it, you won't have time to solve it. This one is the farthest archaeological discovery. I'm probably nowhere near it. I'll just find it, five head. Hmm, I was about to reroll, but the fu no, no, no. We only have one more year. That's dumb. Small farm here is throwing. That's cap. I could have sworn I just had a ton of wood. What happened? A ton of planks. Zero hostility. Feels pretty good. I'm not sure when this happens. At some point, I just got enough gears to build all these. Build all these warehouses, whereas for quite some time, I cannot afford to do so.
So I've got two points there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's too late to do the archaeological dig site and have it win. So we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Thanks for the trade route reminder. So, you're eight, but uh, find, gotta open as many glades as possible. Probably should have been running on three chop for much longer. Chop, chop, chop. Weight events are faster. Great. We're going for the secret boss over here. I'm looking for luxury building.
Bum, 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 bum. How do I have no planks? How is that even possible? It is faced the wrong way, but I can't change it. I think. Oh, hi. Holy. We need a blight post alert. Actually, we just need to set up the fence. I don't even. Don't even. Oh, I need to pause and think for a moment because I actually think I'm not on the path to winning. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to win. I've got two. This is eight. Monastery. Okay. Old Far Wolf. No good. So, me. Yeah. The problem is not enough. You've already gained two rep, you've gained 1.1.5. One coming in there. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four left. Box somewhere. I have a five minute clearance. Cage of the War Beast. Cultivate the decay. Hmm. I have no money. Awkward.
18 bucks, four bucks, any bucks here, 10 bucks. Will that be too long? If I take the two buck one, 10 buck one, and then what is this? Trade routes, uh, three minutes. Mm. It's probably no good. Last second human clothes. Salvage some more clothes. That that's one. Nice. This what? Wait, I have twenty-four. What the? Oh. Okay, so that's one two points. One two. I had a lockbox for one. One point seventy-five. We'll round that to one. So I need. One, two, three. I need three. I have two. This is pretty close. Rush the trader so you can complete the peddler mission. Ah. Definitely some outs here. Might get more tools, etc. Finish with Team Glowing. They're glowing! Interesting. Call immediately still takes one minute.
that's about all the time I have for. Get that glued. Old Farloof is here. So, sell four ancient tablets, sell five pack of trade goods. He's got tools. Sea marrow. Could help. We have a little bit of clay for sale, tiny bit. How did I... How did I just... I could have sworn I just lost some repu... It's... Because you sold tablets. Oh, I see. Oh, and the... Yeah, I see. Alright, looks like I got it. Boop. I had planned to like uh, open a bunch of lock boxes, but it looks like we don't need to do that. Bing, bang, boom. Not even close. What an easy game. You managed to convince the cultists to leave your caravan in peace. Because I became the cultist. I made it. The gambler, you stumble upon a rugged man. Bet 20, win with the irresponsible gamble effect. 30% quicker impatient growth. 50% quicker impatient growth. Did I do this? While doing the adamantine seal? Now that'll be true insanity. Commend a contract. An excellent spot for a trading hub. They want you to establish it. Only the crown command viceroys, but the guild has an unusual gift for finding clever ways. After completing trade routes worth 150 amber, you get to start with 10 and 3. That's actually quite good. If you get 10 plus the frag of the town, you can get number 2 if nobody closes it. Ten plus the frag of the town. What? Is there any benefit to doing an extra settlement before the adamantite seal? Well, yeah. If I do this one, I get to do three. Um... Now, unfortunately, it takes me four away from that thing, which is pretty bad. But this bonus is big. Ten amber and uh, three 
years. That's big. We even have 15 years, so in theory I could do this one, and this one, and then that. And honestly, that would, uh, that would up my chances of the adamantite seal. But my chances might lower by getting, by doing prestige 20. Pretty good setup. Uh, looks like a lot of stuff. Fifteen. Small farm. Wood. Two, two, one, one, two, two. That's pretty good. Okay, well, we gotta be well rested for this one, because this one's a doozy. So, on YouTube, we'll go right into it, but in real life, we enter the fourth day of Against the Storm Marathon. After I wake up. So this is it! The finale! 106 seal fragments have been collected, and I stand before the sealed forest. For the Adamantine Seal, the last run. Prestige 20, 105 seal fragments, and I'm just gonna reveal review everything before I head in, because I need to know all the info. It's good catch-up point review for all of you. So I begin with less uh, negative 20 coal, but I have gotten that replaced with 30 extra sea marrow and 30 extra oil to begin with, so I get a bit more fuel to begin with. We also start with 20 mushrooms, 2 guys, 20 pipes, which is really good on the final map, it's 3 wildfire essence, I haven't really been able to use that much. Ah. Oh, I've spoken with your people. It seems your last caravan is ready. She looks at you with an expression full of sadness, but also a hint of pride. We're leaving soon. How have I lost my husband? Our emissaries are negotiating a truce in a place that would soon become this city. There's a sergeant in a small scouting party. There's nothing there, just an empty forest. Or so they thought. They stumbled upon a troop. We needed at least three men to each lizard to make an even fight, but this time the numbers were not on our side. Killed by a soon to be allies. Will you also die for nothing? Indeed, after one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve settlements, we reach the end. I have 211, 227 supplies or food supplies for sacrificing things at the altar, which I have to make sure to get. Uh, remind myself of what I have. Additional cornerstones, blueprints, uh, the... I can get to the district in hearths. The merchants usually come with extra stuff and I can buy them cheaper. Uh, I do have last stand. If I lose, I get to stay in the game for a minute longer. And I think we're ready to go. I am probably one of the, like, the broadcast of streamers who played this mode, which has the final, uh, which has the strongest final preparation. And I could get even more if I wanted to, but I feel like this is good enough. Uh, so we've got those supplies. Usually on the normal game, by the way, um, in the normal mode, you do, you are typically even stronger than this with the 15 embarkation points uh, and also more upgrades than I have. But I have not played this game with this many upgrades before. So for me, this is very, very strong for me. Uh, so 15 points, I decided, and in Prestige 20, uh, compared to Prestige 15, which I did last time, you start with one fewer blueprint, 
but I get to start with a small farm blueprint, so like, so far compared to 15, I'm ahead. Stronger hunger penalty, so I gotta make sure not to make mistakes. Sacrifices in the hearth cost more, so I gotta make sure not to make mistakes. Fee for each discovered glade, which is a pain, so it'll slow me down a little bit. I gotta, I was thinking I'm gonna start with the trading opening, especially since I get to begin with more stuff. And higher penalty for losing villagers, so I gotta not lose the villagers. So the stuff I'm planning to bring, food, uh, planks, fabric, this one costs a little bit too much, and there we have it. The top wagon looks pretty good, humans, lizards, which are actually two of my favorite races, uh, plus two villagers, and a mystery third race. Uh, also this wagon starts with 60 food. My expedition, I'm starting with additional 100 food that I'm used to, which I did some numbers uh since people eat one food every two minutes roughly and a day cycle is uh, around at the 12 minutes uh that's two four six cycles of food so basically uh with 12 guys it's like 70 food so basically i have an entire extra day of food and some change so it's nice so, compared to the last mission, I basically have one extra day of food, I get to begin with planks and fabric, and my blueprint is a small farm. I also get a little bit extra wood. Uh, I'm on a different map, the Sealed Forest. Viceroys don't embark here to establish settlements or gain reputation. Their main goal is simply to find and close the seal. Also, I have those uh, three pipes. I need to remember to set up the water early. Woodcutters don't increase hostility, but every 10 felled trees adds two hostility points. So I have to very selectively kill the trees. I am going to be taking my time with this one because, you know, it's uh, the final mission. Now, hello, Zazuna. Have you finished yet? I heard that you managed to make it all the way back to fish the, uh, the seal. Congratulations if you did. Zazuna failed on the hidden seal, but uh, made it all the way back again. Anyways, I have to find the seal. We have a beacon tower and overgrown trees with a lot more resource charges can be found in the forest. Okay, let's begin. Forest mysteries, important matters. Impatient grows 70% slower during drizzle season under an open sky. So I need to make sure I have housing. Looks like I have harpies as the third race. Unlucky, but whatever, eh, it's fine. Gathering speed decreased during the storm season. Uh, people are a little bit sadder. And once this effect activates, every villager in your settlement will ask you for one coats. So we gotta make sure to not go into the Storm season and at four. That's the worst when you stay at four for only a little. Actually, there's no uh, hostility for um, woodcars, so this isn't even a thing. Uh, I gotta remember that it costs two ambers for a small glade, six for a dangerous or forbidden. That's the main mechanic that I haven't played with more uh, that much. So I begin with 12 guys. A lot of food. Uh, pickled goods, which only the lizards like. I'm considering cutting them off early. I think I will. Can feed them the pickled goods later if they insist. 10 planks, 15 fabric, 5 bricks. It's nice. 30 pipes. 20 pottery. Got enough wood to set some early stuff up. Got the small farm. I have humans so I know where the farming is. It's here. So first mini goal, which I hope to get done by day two. Click the two amber to open this and farm by day two, as well as getting the usual stuff up. Two buildings. Flea pit herb garden. 
Interesting. Not great since I already have the farm, but uh, maybe I'll go herb garden on top. So I was thinking like maybe I begin with placing a rain collector because the rain idea is pretty important. Uh, but I would have nothing to immediately do. So I think we start with makeshift post and we start with trading post. And I start chopping down towards here. All right, up to the races. Some random things that I'll like, just remind myself of is one, get the water started earlier than usual. So once I get a building that can use water, I should actually do that. Um, nice to have all this food early. It means I can comfortably pack a few provisions. Uh, this fire, we can run it with a harpy. And let's begin somewhat selectively chopping towards this blade. Don't want to kill too many of the trees, though. So. I imagine, like, almost nobody would begin with this type of opening on this map. Because chopping trees is bad. Oh, I could. Uh, I should. I should definitely set it on only marked trees, huh? Hmm, this means like having this many woodcutters is not actually good at all. Uh, I can. Um, yeah, let me. All right, let's have this guy go over here, and we'll chop. We want to chop towards the white trees. That much I know. Only marked trees and avoid glades. So basically on this one you surgically select all the cool trees. And these trees have 20 charges of wood in them. It probably means that I should... Make sure to have all of these guys. <clears throat> Basically, it seems like only one guy will be chopping each time, idling. Only mark trees and avoid glades. Oh, I guess I've selected a tree that can't be gotten to. Alright, any cool first deals? No. Oh, yes. Also, I was reminded. I should have oil I should keep the um, 30 oil. Actually, I should just uncheck this. Because the 30 oil can be used for a great event, potentially. Belt. Travel costs on trade routes is reduced by one. That's really good. And then for every 20 felled trees, whatever. I like it. 
That makes a lot of these uh, pack of provisions cost potentially zero. Uh, which is really good because I know a main objective of this map is to trade a lot. So. We've already got good luck. Orders. Uh, trade 16. Seems pretty straightforward. This one, though, has some parts attached to it, but how likely is it that I can get to 25 early? Uh, seems like it might take a while. Delivery or tree pack. I was thinking how many parts do I need? Um, three trade routes is really easy, but I might want tree pack. I do start with building materials. I do start with extra stuff for crops. This gets me long-term stuff, and this game is one that you'll need to be a bit more long-term. I think uh, this is a rare tree pack. Rare choice for me. Also begin on the farm, so that bonus applies. And then I actually don't have a lizard house, so not right. Okay, so two with gears. After my last mission, I figured out how important gears are. What are in these trees? You got meat, you got uh, the skulls, you got the leather. In the big trees, you got meat, skulls, leather. sell it. Do I want to work towards tree pack? Five pack, five pack of crops, pack of crops. Yeah, I started with a bunch of things. I can, I think I can start packing the crops. Five of those. Pack of building materials, five of those. Pack it up. Tree pack. And I'm gonna have to decide, do I want clay pit? No one ever picks clay pit. Although you use clearance water, but does that count as using the clearance water you need for the game? It's the end condition, I'm, I'm gonna double check this, but the end condition where for like seal the grove is like spend it on pipes, right? Not just spend the water. Sealed grove, wind conditions, uh, against the storm. Sealed forest. That could be an interesting way to spend water. If, uh, I, I don't think it's important. Anyways, it's, I'm totally not getting it anyways. Also, there's even, you know, there's clay here, so. Six hundred of any water in pipes. Okay, in pipes, so you don't spend the clearance water. That wouldn't work.
Got a tool for tree buck. Might be worth it. Probably worth it. Apple, three for one buck. That's not worth it. Hmm, each tool for tree buck a piece. Pretty sure that's a really good deal. I could uh, just sell the five right now and uh, have a nice, comfortable open. Yeah, I think that's good. Then that'll, uh, you know, make it so that the cost of opening groves thing doesn't really come up since I've got money. Because I have money. Because I have money, I could screw the rules. to get fabric. In fact, it makes me want to not use that fabric here. We actually have no way to get more fabric. Glad I noticed that. Said for a pack of building materials. How are there no suitable trees in the way? I see one that you can reach right there. Guess you need this one. I think I would like to begin with too big shelter. Hmm, I could have sworn I had. Oh, it's because killing this opens the grave. All right, you can open the grave. Uh, where was I? I... Oh, yes. I thought I could have sworn I built six pack already. Maybe I need another pack, though. That's the sixth one. I must have uh, imagined things. Payments. Tax pay. All right. 
A sign. It's a sign. Guidance stone. They point in the direction of a nearby seal. Do, 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 here? It's probably more towards the center, right? Here. Or here? Could it possibly be here? Seems a little bit crooked. I think it's this one, but it could be the one beyond. So, it looks like we're going to go one, two, three. Now, I learned from watching a stream that apparently you can destroy these, which is awesome. Uh, and they give cool stuff when you destroy them. Also, this is a nice small grove. in the way. 15 stone and 8 resin. So, begin probably with vegetables since I have nothing that uses grain yet. sad that I couldn't get my housing up in time. Might have to settle for this type of housing instead of this one. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Plague of Mosquitoes. The ancient seal is crumbling, releasing a new plague. The sky turns black. Bitten villagers can't focus on work. Global production speed is 50% slower. Minor. That's where the planks went. This farm. I wonder if I should get Herb Garden or Reroll. Herb Garden is decent. 
I could also wait until I open some, but I'm about to turn in some quests. The tree pack is decent to turn in because I got fabric bonus. The amber trade is decent to turn in because I get more gods. And then I'll have uh, two more buildings to choose from, indicating that I should choose the first one. And it doesn't hurt to have herbs. But I need more farming space. But that's fine. I have humans. It's gonna be a nice little farming community. One Empire is here, reporting that Odd One just won. Congratulations to Odd One. If Odd One can win, he uh, had much fewer... Uh, much harder of a start because he doesn't have as much stuff as me. Then I should win this one. I'm hoping that this run just happens to be a run where everything goes smoothly and nothing goes wrong. It's possible, because this is the, uh, theoretically with the embarkation points and my bonuses going in, this is one of the, uh, starts in which I do have the most stuff, so even though this is the finale one, I'm rooting for a boring finale where I just crush it. That would be ideal. Plus one green already makes me really tempted to like half and half this veggie green. Sure. nervous like I started with so much food why does it look like I'm almost out of food <laughs> never last as long as you think it will Patients grow 70% slower during drizzle season, so apparently that's really good to get on this map. That's nice. Ancient Pact. Stormwalker Tax. A joint venture with the Stormwalker Guild can be... You lose all stored amber upon choosing this cornerstone. But did the merchant just show up? Oh, very nice. Ooh, I can get a uh, woodcutter's camp production is 15% quicker. Apparently I have good RNG to start. That seems good. And then what is the thing I have the most of? Probably this copper ore. The copper ore isn't worth much. I guess I have the leftover from the tree pack, but these might show up in a... Woodcutter speed is bait. They're walking 80% of the time. Well, I have to spend the money. I guess I can... Is it really bait? I didn't know that. Okay. I always take this and I like always imagine it's so good because I always have so many woodcutters. But I do think on this map, like because you're like rationing trees all the time, it surely must be good to buy all the lumber. See, do I want to toss anything else? I think I want to hoard all the rest of this stuff, so I'll just spend my money on this stuff. 
Uh, also, I gotta remember to keep six amber around for the tax when I open the next grove. So I guess all I can really buy is this stuff. Oh wait, no, I'm planning to take the... Uh, I have to spend down so I can get 15 bucks. Yeah, that looks good. And then I take Stormwalker Pact to lose all stored amber. Gain 15 amber each time a new guy comes. Two hearths to neighborhood. Sure. Easy. Rewards are kind of mad, but whatever. Building materials or happy brewing. Wow, if I get a brewery, I end up with a tavern. That's so good if I ever get offered a brewery. I think I don't open a grove this season just because it seems like it might take a while to open this one. There's a lot of big trees in the way. Gotta choose these buildings though. Alright, I'll go herb garden. Skewers. Skewers are okay, I suppose. Thinking about the trapper's camp. Uh, eggs don't show up on this map. Skewers are alright. I also have the resources right now. Monastery or fabric, water skins. Uh, let's see. Religion, leisure. Religion. Not too many people hitting that one here. Leather worker. This is the map with leather. A map with leather. And the fabric and the pigment. It's not great, but not bad. It's on the bad side, but not terrible. Not terrible enough to reroll, I think. But I don't have to pick it right now since I'm not gonna build it soon. Actually, I would probably build it soon because they can build fabric. I do have a plus one to fabric also. We could become a fabric export. Anyways, I'll take it. So, leather worker. Also good with the harpies since it's a tailoring location. So the grill is the thing that I want to build now so that I can start stretching out the food. This is going to take meat and eggs, so I will control meat and eggs, which means I have zero food. So we enable the pickled goods, and then we only have 20 food. How does food run out so fast? <laughs> Holy cow. And I think good idea to get the screen collector up, especially since I'm about to...
have a drizzle season thing. fabric from here again. Have a bunch of planks that I bought. Bricks I'm a little bit low on. But nothing in the immediate area was needing brick. Let me get the water set up before beginning this. I'm gonna stretch everything. Use all the tricks I knew. No. Like some drizzle water before beginning this production. Install the pipes. I was shown this trick and I feel a little bit dirty using it, but you know, it's Prestige 20, you use all the tricks. Yes, boy, does it not feel like you should be able to do this. Basically, we turn it up to full. It only takes 49 seconds to build this stuff. And after you turn it off, it still takes that long. Knowledge is spreading. And you still have the increased crit chance. began with so much food I oh it's because it's because uh because I never uh, it's because I'm slowly picking at this stuff as I want my harpy to gather all these guys I brought so much food you did the trick wrong what you didn't turn it max I did turn it max you don't turn it max. What? Speed is ignored when you turn it off. Oh, I didn't know that. So the speed goes back down. The proc chance is 25% at node 2. Oh, okay. Hmm. Educated. Toggle on just for before production for the uh, for the. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought then. Doesn't get the benefit of speed. Trixie, Trixie. And impatience 0 0.06 thanks to Drizzle. So we be chillin'.
New season, new commodities. Green, cool. Play, it's cool too. Sure. Think about if I want to use more of it. No, I'm out of play. So that's my only. I actually probably no. I'm even trading that away. This yes because it's renewable. I think you trade away the renewables, but you don't trade away the stuff. That's you can't renew. Like I only have so many bricks out there. I even need ten bricks. What do I get for completing camps? More clay. Alright, and we're out of this stuff now. That was all I had. Skewers don't take fruit, huh? I think the skewers would be delicious with fruit on them. Wait, berries. Holy crap, I can. Yo, guys, stop eating these berries. Yo. Hmm. So I picked up a good amount of grain. Probably due to the delivery length, I won't be able to pick up every single one of these, unfortunately. But at least we have the harpy so that they can carry more stuff at once. Look at that delicious food sitting on the farm. If I remember right, skewers also take veggies. Don't eat my veggies! Managed to create a lot of skewer value. Grill being used, herb garden not being used yet, leather worker not being used. Could get this out. The day of the blight, blah blah. And cutter, cut all the stuff. Oh, there's more here. Oh, this grove is better than I thought it was.
Plague of Melody. Villagers take 50% longer rests, plus 100% higher chance of consuming twice as much food during a break. That does remind me I should get this beacon tower up. Also reminds me that I should have 12 bricks available for that thing. Beacon Tower. I'd always thought that it was a good idea to use this early. Because, you know, resources are better early than later. The farming bonus is better later. Eh, at that point, it's like all really quite unnecessary. This is 0.63, copper ore. Oh, let's get rid of it. Let's get Speverton to the next trade level. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. So what I was thinking is I could certainly call for meat right now, it'd be pretty useful. Mmm, meat. Anyways, I need 16 of these for that, but I need to build this thing. And here I thought I brought enough uh, food, but I did not. The answer is you cannot have enough food in this amount. You can never have enough food. Uh, do I want guys? Ooh. Do I want fewer guys and more food? The answer may be yes. I'm feeling obliged to take this one slower than my usual insane fast pace. Well, this food. I think I actually have to look at the stuff they're bringing now. And boy do I like the plus 12 food. One fewer guy, a bunch of lizards. <sighs> what I should be looking at is like how many Productive guys. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. There's also the hostility thing. If it goes to one, there's currently no problem. Unless I run out of housing. Oh, that's a thing. 15 for the 14 right now. And if people were to come in and the this were to proc, then that would be bad. Three guys. Um, right now, this is 81. There's no way to take things off of uh, woodcutters. So basically, three guys adds 18. Oh, 18 would be perfect, actually. So I guess there's an additional benefit that if I were to take the right one, I stay right under the curve. Let me make sure I'm not doing some math wrong. This is. Problem with the math, if I kill any tree, oh, 26 out of 10, I'd need to kill four trees. Uh, so, yeah, I think we can do this. Math checks out, 99, 99. Yeah. It's always scary to, like, be only one off of math leading to disaster, and then doing the math wrong. The math! Mouse. Really lucky on the pack of provisions. Alright, the Beacon Tower, a powerful ancient structure that allows you to summon aid directly from the Citadel. So, I was thinking we just take the meat early. 
Uh, then that lets this actually work right now. I think that's a very good idea. Uh, I don't have the right... I do have the right. Yeah. But right now I can still use the mushroom so I can delay the option even. Uh, did I make sure to... Don't eat mushrooms, by the way. Okay, that lets me even get a third guy in here. Mushroom veggie skewers. Delicious. I hadn't quite taken into account the fact that the mushrooms is more food, but it's multiplied even more thanks to my grill. Yeah, this grill is doing work. can open this grove ahead of time, but no, I'd rather wait just a little bit longer. Does this... These are 20 charges. Yeah, go ahead. Open that grove. Take too long. Get that started. Two guys unemployed, and I can't think of very many useful ways to employ them. This is fun. Never washed a tree with more intent before. Nine out of twenty charges. Good. Oh, I can have these guys chill here, of course. Work on these trees down there. Alright, so I managed to find full employment with my guys. That's good. Uh, this next coming storm is definitely going to be at Hostility 1. Trade routes. Do I want to sell off some food? Do I feel that confident? 15 food for 3 bucks. How much do I have to buy food for? If I were to take 15, I'd need 11 bucks for that. It's uh, global food production speed. Not important. Uh, but this is really nice. I want to buy some of this food. Yeah. Gain 2 Amber for every 20 Sea Marrow. 25% chance of doubling yields with Leisure. This looks like at the reroll angle. I don't think Crowded Caravan is good on this map. Uh, Zorg. That strongly makes me want to produce pickled goods. I kind of want to hold on to this forever because it's uh, such a good bonus if I somehow manage to get exactly a brewery. But where are the odds? And I've got the next things coming up right as I open a... Yeah, I sadly have to pick left, I think. 
so good. Such a huge outside. If I ever get brewery. Surely too specific. Rebuild our Salamand Ruins, get Monastery, meh. Cut through four Glades, okay. Well, got it just in time as I cut open this Glade. I think this is the time where I call for meat. Eureka! Meat! Should get this for the extra guys and also the extra building. Workshop is definitely too passive here, I think. I got the herb thingy already. Workshop's not bad. It gets planks production up, which is good on this map and bricks. I'll take it. It's a nice to have, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. Workshop, crude workstation is no more. the reason why the entire reason I chose leather worker was this so it's not entirely true it was the I have the leather thingy anyways So pickled goods. I do have the letter worker skinny thingy. And pickled goods. And I can grow veggies. So Zorg secret ingredient is a uh, viable. Probably going to be the pick. Oh, cutting down that tree totally didn't do anything. Oh no. Am I too slow to open this glade now? I think... No, we need to, we need to open it now.
year three. They mess up on this one so often, but oh. But today, I feel aware. Crap, do I have six bucks? Okay. Clearance water. Seems like the water I have most of right now. Not very useful. Short of breaking open these boxes. Leaking cauldron. All food production is 90% slower. Takes the oil that I've been saving. Or uses the sea marrow. Fix. Spawn? Interesting. It's a leather worker. I'm not prepared, unfortunately. Hmm, interesting. That would have been interesting. Alright, burn it down. I think instead of using the oil so I can keep my 30 oil, I use the burn marrow. Well, the seal marrow. Ah, sea marrow. Blah, 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 blah. This is pointing this way. That's where I expected it to be, right? Makes sense. All food production is 90% slower. So, I can use a warehouse for this, this, and this. Small hearth could fit. No, can't fit. Short on these tool things. As expected. Using my precious tools for that. to me that I let Sahilda go without actually doing any shopping. I think. I don't think I really want anything, but...
420% now. I think 420 is still good enough to be solved with just one of these. I seem to remember 300 was pretty comfortable. Good enough. Stone pointing towards this glade. Oh. All right, we get the first Forsaken Altar activation. Very cool. Boom! Bum 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 bum. This warehouse near here. Easier to build the altar there as well. Boom, bum, 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 bum. Zero wood. Know how important it is to ration this wood. Hmm. Love and cool. I like it. It pushes it to level 2. There's nothing I can do once we're at level 2. Do I have to wait super long before taking that in? Possibly. Yeah, I think so. And I think I have to start burning this oil, unfortunately. I wanted to save it.
Also, you don't want to spawn this. Progress 15 out of 16. Plague of Darkness. The storm season is 100% longer. Oh, jeez. I think I didn't bring the new guys in. That's a rookie mistake I easily could have made if I were being less careful. More careless. Though I am missing the housing. One percent max. It got up to that. Holy cow! Yeah. Why is it so bad? Is there anything you can do about this? It looks worse. Okay, it's not bad. Right. It's just the storm lasts 100% longer. That's fine. Looks bad. Isn't that bad? Chopping more wood. Out of the stuff in Blinking Cauldron Radio. Yeah, it's not that important. Yeah, right in the box. It's not even worth it. I'll find something better later. Like this. If I had two boxes, twice the value. Yeah, it takes a pack also. One box for one dollar. Oh, we blew. Three people died. Grill worker, woodcutter, builder. Oh, that's 1.5. Hmm. Darn, I was all quote unquote ready for it too. I could have been using other materials to be building this, like the oil. Oh. Let me think. The ratio is 3.5. So, the thing to compare it to is normal burning. 
This is 2639. The coal is better than 3 wood. So the coal is better than 3 wood. So this is about equivalent. Oil. I think oil is a really bad ratio. Each oil is about 2 wood. Here, the oil is worth using. Real worker. I want to use the blight rod for here. Seems like a seems like the wrong time to do this. Let me give it a little bit of time. Real worker, woodcutter, builder. So I built, brought the extra planks too, but I brought the extra planks, I brought the extra wood. This game sure would have been hard without that. I don't know how serious a mistake it is that the uh, eruption go off. Feels like a big mistake, but we can probably handle it. I think if I had spent the oil, it wouldn't have blown up. It doesn't matter how serious the mistake is. It just, unfortunately, it cancels out my early luck grant or something. Who knows? You make some good decisions, you make some bad decisions. Second time. That would be this cool. Oh no! Why hasn't this been built? Holy crap! At least the at least the it was a longer season so I could get this built. Holy cow! Yo! Yo, Forsaken Altar! Yo! Praise the old gods! Wow, thank goodness for this plague of darkness! What do we got? Notes have more charges. Impatient doesn't grow when villagers leave or die. Uh, that would have been nice. Uh, increases the production speed of copper bars, crystallized dew, and all recipes that use metal ingots. The crown doesn't have to know. You seem weak. Although the middle one would have been really good if this Forsaken Altar was up uh, a few minutes ago. I have to choose one though because we have to do the other ones. Um, I guess nodes have more is okay. Uh, how likely am I to use metal ingots? Well, could be. Plus one to copper bar and crystalline steam production. I'm going for right or left. 
I don't have that many, uh, you know, wagons, so it's probably right. Because I do have a bunch of copper, at least. Okay. It's a stretch, but I'll take five. So I need to middle. But what if you just don't have any villagers? Leave or die. You might need to kill people for stuff. I do have to also take into account, like, the future ones cost more, right? Keep taking them when they arrive. Oh, that's true. I could, uh, not be afraid of taking you guys. If your blight kills people. It's a good newbie one. I am kind of a newbie. Alright, I think I've been convinced to middle. Because a lot of them on the right aren't that exciting. This is a insurance pick. Oh, if only I'd gotten a little bit earlier. All right, insurance pick. Take Zorg's secret ingredients. They trade ten trade routes. Glad I didn't sell that earlier. Um, what was I thinking? We want to get a harvester's camp to complete that quest. Need two Hello. gears for that. Zorg is here. Oh? Oh. Oh. Zorg, Zorg, Zorg. I'm actually kind of low on food. Oh, la la. Chance to get rid of my grain. Nice. so stressful that I didn't actually move to open a glade. Do I want to open a glade this year?
my <laughs> I built it wrong could have afforded that news. All right, let's see. So, big question. On this here, do I want to open a glade? I would answer yes if I thought I was running out of food. I think I'm running out of food. But therefore, I should open up a glade. Also, Zorg is here. He's got food. I should buy this food. Um, there were some comments about something like double consumption. Apparently if you have like biscuits and pie, do they like eat both of these at a time? Is that bad or something? Anyways, I think... I guess I focus pickled goods on my lizardmen. Because you only want one of them to benefit, apparently. Since you only target one of the reps each time. Maybe. Make them eat one or the other. Oh, otherwise they'll eat both when they go eat once? Is that the reason why it's bad? Or... They eat, like, two food in one go? Wait, if I get pickled goods, isn't that the same thing? Then the lizard will eat both the skewer and the pickled goods. They'll try to fulfill all their needs. Uh, so is... So this is an example where buying the pickled goods would be wrong. Unless I wanted to like actually push their needs, but I'm, I'm actually going for hunger right now. I'm hungry. Actually, I should buy the raw materials, shouldn't I? Even though they cost more, I can actually make more stuff. Uh, yeah, it's 16 to 10. So, meat plus 1, 2, 3, 4. Veggie, egg, berry, herb. But I started with so much food because I didn't expect to be struggling on food. Okay, anyways, we need to open a glade, otherwise we're gonna starve. Don't I need money to open glades? Oh. Oh no, the rules. Okay. It's fine, I've got 15 coming. Oh. Alright, I'll just do this. Thanks for the reminder. Oh, I can't afford this. When's the payment that I have to do? How long after? There's a grace spirit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I see the berries there. It's uh, 
We're currently short on... I guess we can kill this. Yeah, that makes sense. I miss the the train on how insane a field kitchen was there or something? Because when I looked at it, I was like, yeah, whatever. Pass. It was up against something good, I think. I hope. Yeah, yeah, I've used one of the beacons for meat. I'll probably use the second one for meat as well. Probably should actually I should do that now. Get that harvester camp up real quick. Because we need another thing. Starve human and lizard. Disable grill from skewers. Stretch your food and ratio until you get a solid supply. I thought, like, uh, the fact that hunger was punished more would be bad. How much do you even save from that? You save, like, one, right? Each person who doesn't eat. Uh, I didn't figure it would be important, but maybe important? How much do you save by doing this, by like microwing the hunger? Like I definitely thought it might be a good idea, but... I guess every little bit adds up, huh? Alright, cut the eye, of course. You do save a lot. Alright, so I need... Ah, oh, the planks. I need so much wood. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, totem of denial. Do I have any of these? We got a grill to make that. Can't possibly get this in time, can I? Three minutes. Hmm, probably not. So therefore, I have to go for 14 planks. Make so much wood. I'm crying. That's cool. Cheap construction, all buildings cost less. Am I building anything right now?
This is probably a rear angle. Well, I do have a herb garden. Crystallized dew. Or it's also the tool holder. Ah, oh, but to build tools, I need one of these. Didn't I? No, I never took the plus one. Huh, what is it that I'm missing? I'm missing more food. Something, something. Next plague, plague of fire. Fuel is disappearing. Ugh. I'm gathering as much as I can. Yeah, but we have to spend so much of it this year again. How do I stay afloat? The stuff just costs so much. Odd one got lucky on his run. <laughs> Thanks. Make me feel so much better now. Stupid odd one. Oh, lucky. What a luck sack. Okay, I've, uh... Now I have enough gears to do stuff. Guess there's herbs in here. See more berries there. That's good. Mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Food stuff is looking all right, I guess. Yeah, it might be fine. All right. I guess. I might even just open or send caches. Uh, I need to get one of these done. Uh, I need both of these. Oh, how am I supposed to do it with just one of them? Then, uh, so annoying. I don't have the right side. So, uh, yeah, I can start gathering wood by consolidating the houses, sure. Get this thing. I knew the wood situation on this map was going to be bad, but I didn't know how bad it was going to be. Well, it's going to be bad, but like this bad. Yikes. It's the mushroom map. Pretty much. But... 
Why is it worse than the rock mushroom, man? You got three chests to solve those fast. Sure, I'll just solve them, buddy. Okay. Okay. Just solve the chest. Buildings I got are such trash. Okay, so I have to pay this tax by 424 storm. Um, what are they gonna do? Unstarve. I don't think I'm winning this one. We just aren't progressing. This bear. Let me cash this in. Get the wood up front. It's at full price anyways. Was that planks to solve? You can rebuild big shelter for self. Oh. Excellent idea. Something I was gonna do anyways, huh? Fuel reserves actually stay in your warehouse, huh? Okay, yes. Six, five, three. I'll do it when I actually have uh, spare time, so to say. a good source of employment. Fuel to light fuel to save it. The event does not remove light fuel. I am certainly. Light fuel is not trained, so make more blight fuel. Blight fuel is ignored from events. Oh, yeah. I thought that this thing, which is fuel in the settlement's warehouse, disappearing at a rate of two units every 10 seconds. I thought it was best to have a lot of wood, so it would drain the wood instead of the valuable stuff. That's my plan for it. It's not that much when you really look at it, right? Was it, um... Two units every 10 seconds, so the storm is what, 3 minutes? 60 seconds, 12 units? Like 36 units, whatever. I don't think you should hide your wood. I think you should have a lot of wood. 
I mean, obviously, if you are desperate. Yeah, I don't think we're desperate right now. We got the wood. We can spend 36 of that. Also, it looks like it's time to grab another 30 meat. The heart doesn't need it for a bit, so you can hide it all as you need it. The heart doesn't need it for a bit. Heal in the settlements. Oh, next plague. In what are we? I don't think we're clearly like. I don't understand what you're saying, so I unfortunately can't carry out your plan. Uh, the way I see it is, we want a bunch of wood so that we can dil dilute the fuel that's taken from the event. And having the fire run out is obviously bad, so I don't think we can. Hold it all. Hide it all. Oh, I think I get it. You kill a building every single time you actually need to burn. Ah. Man, those are some filthy tricks. Everyone rem remember that this is the good shelter. One on the middle is the expensive shelter. Let's see. small ones. This one, and it's got a box of planks, it's got five fire. Oh, we probably want to break that one. I don't actually have the rocks for that. Kind of nice. Let's see, this is not as nice. I don't really see any particular reason why. Well, I guess it's got money in it. So I guess I've got idlers. Alright, Plague of Fire. 
Roll it. Gathering speed decreased. Plus eight. Did you pay your tax? Oh wow. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. It's the tax man. Fabric is like the main export, so I should make more of this. Uh, let's see. Should sell most of this. More of this. Oh, it's so costly to make these packs, though. Should I give my hard earned. This is like. This meat is super expensive. I don't think I can use it on the pack. <sighs> but I should sell one, and then that's it for the. Activisions. Let's see, no one's starving. Got some soap clothes. Got housing. But we still got issues. No one's starving, but we still have issues. We have issues. Okay, we can always turn this. No, we can't. We're out of water. <laughs> Glad you got hidden from the queen. Oh, man. Use the beacon. But now? Villagers with you can lower hostility. Like not now now, but like this this storm cycle. Or I wouldn't now, if you need to. I mean it seems like we need to. We wanna save all the guys we have, right? Twenty-four is still low amount. If you need to is lizard on it. Oh. Of course. That's good. Step in the right direction. It's better to have fewer people on this one. Interesting. I can I can understand why.
We are planning to win on water on the final one, yes. Right, I think I just chopped the big trees. That's the one tree over there. Hmm. Getting a second heart seems good, but we also can't support the fuel. But I probably should get the second heart. Push the resolve easily with a few people. Oh, I see. If you had fewer people. Alright, so I think in this season we just lose like a few harpies. But... And maybe after I lose that harpy, the other harpies will be happier or something. Stupid harpy, if only you were a different race. So, once I get this with the pipes and I turn it up to what, plus 10? Oh yeah, that might actually zoom. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I could have saved the other one. Hard to say. We'll just say no, and then I'll feel better about it. I think I happen to have yellow water. Oh, speaking of water. Have two hearths upgraded to district. Have a small warehouse. Look, it happened! Holy cow. The reason to build two districts. How am I ever gonna fit a district in here? Holy cow. tricky. I wonder if it's a... well, I guess you can always deactivate the small earth. It's gonna be like, it's a mistake to build a second hearth. Yeah, can't be a mistake. You can always deactivate it. What do you think? Do I reroll this? 
or do I take the dew to hope that I get something that combos with dew? We got 36 bucks. Reroll if you don't need tools. I mean, I need tools, but I don't have the input for tools. You don't need tools anymore. What? Trump Blight. What? Use people to burn the heart. <laughs> what? A little bit at a time. I can't even get out of bed for less than 15 blight. Anyways, uh, now I understand. Alright, we got a forager's camp that's collects grain, roots, and veggies. Grain, roots, veggies. That does not fit. Fuel consumption and hearse is decreased by 25%. Never bought this before, that seems uh, pretty good here. OP for this map. Okay. Uh, let's see. Probably want more food. You only have veggies. Oh, you have mushroom. So, mushroom plus some sort of veggie. Like a veggie, for example. I can buy a little bit of this. Please, Sahilda, can you give me a handout? Sahilda is cruel and heartless. No handouts. Oh, it's another year where I forgot to... No, not forgot. I... Okay, we need to make the decision once again. Do I open a glade? I believe the answer is yes. Well, I should ask myself why. No, well, maybe I don't end. Maybe I don't open a uh, glade here. Got an additional. You can get rid of essences, save two. Are you counting about the two here? I remember there's like an event that takes four. No, I guess it's just forbidden ones. Uh, so the one that takes two, I see. Oh, yeah, we can sell this. Uh, anyways, where was I? I should probably turn this in so I get another building. What do I hope to get from Glade? Oh, that's a good question. It'd probably be a uh, farming land. In case you want to build three hearths. I've had to build three hearths. Wow, that seems tough to handle that fuel. You don't need more farmland, you have enough. Really? I guess so, especially since I don't even have any flower things yet. Make a second farm. I think... Yeah, okay. Trust me, you have enough. I do have the plus one grain also, but uh... Yeah, okay. I can see how this would be important. You need more farm. You mean just 
You need one more farm. Sure. Three farms? What? Is that a joke? That little bitty farm. I'm pretty sure like one and a half farms is enough to take all of it. Uh, where was I? I need to click the building materials thing. I need food. Um, and I guess we were talking about what I can pawn off for food. And I think, let's see, given that a small hearth costs two, then I can at most build two. Yes, it makes sense to sell all of that. Sell that. And the rest of the stuff seems important. So I buy as much food with the rust, which would be like 10 mushroom, 10 veggie, double that, 20 auto, one more, 0.05 off, have a resin. Turning on all of these, but traders will have one more perk. Scouts work faster. Or ten bucks. Eh, scouts work faster, I guess. It's fine. All right. So where was I here? I was deciding whether or not. I wanted this just for tools, even though I didn't have the other thing. Or do I buy this because it makes the thing that prepares for tools and do as useful for a few other things. And I do have a lot of these resources. I think the alchemist hut is fine. But boy, am I not excited by it. And then I get another pick. Certainly there's no way I can take this because I don't have the resources to make the other stuff. Eh, rough, rough. Oh, pickled goods. Oh, oh, what's the thing? We have the jerky thingy too. Praise Zorg. Okay, here comes the comeback. Don't call it a comeback. We have the leather worker for the water skins also. So we need a ton of planks. So I need six planks for granary. I need the granary, well then... And then I need... This one I can build already. I don't know how bad it is. It's surely correct to build stuff like out of this area now. Yeah. I'm like concerned about the fact that they're gonna be outside the range of this, but I guess I'll have to build another one at some point. Hydrant. Okay, so this I believe was oh I don't even, I don't have to remember that's six. This one's four. 
All right, so we break open the piggy bank. Big shelter. Very good. Cool. Oh, and here we need to set the prior to be negative. Are you delivering to something here? Hmm. Very sus. I think I do feel bold enough to play the consumption control game now. Save a little bit of food during Drizzle. Third resolve is low. Oh. interesting I'm like looking around to see who I can possibly spare and I could only find one guy to spare everyone's doing such a good job It's really quite touching. What am I floating? Play. Even more. Oh, I don't have the. 
resources for that. Not even close. We used up all our meat. I didn't realize water skin was that material. We used all our beacon. We used all our oil. Oh no. Well, what a shame. Some of it's probably in here, but... Do I shake these guys so that they give me my meat? I think the answer is yes. Oh, the trees have a chance of meat. Okay, yeah, we can get some meat still. We have containers? Oh, great. Renewable resource. Sell, sell, sell. All right. Praise Zorg. Praise Zorg. my current herbalist camp and is still plucking away. Things are starting to turn around. I'm feeling it. This is gonna be a win. Praise the org. It's all thanks to the greenery rule. I think I might be able to install eight rain engines. to go there so therefore these are made only of mushrooms now Cutters camps, I have one there. These guys are still cutting this area. Very good.
I'm just saying, I didn't know you could place it on these resources. people. Where can I find you jobs? You can finally pick up this stuff from a while ago. I wonder if I should just have someone sit in the AC room. Yeah, I think I like it. <laughs> This is a way better use. Um, not that it can be used right now. Oh, I've got a mine. Humans are starving. Oh. Well, all according to plan. Oh wait, that's, this is way too late to be starving though. Oh no. Oh no. Holy. Oh no. Oh no. Mistake. Plague of Fishman. Fishman will summon one dangerous for Forbidden Blade event. Hi. Dark Gate. Forbidden Blade event. Okay. Kills ten random villagers. Seal off. Oh no! Sell off all your wildfire essence, you said. The sabotage. Left is better. Yeah, okay. You have hidden from Queen. Kills one random villagers. Yeah. Wow, a shame. Oh, Alchemist Hut. Can I build this thing? I'm pretty fine. No. Okay. Hmm. 
What the heck? Why are the numbers so bad? Oh, is it time to play choose one of them to save? It's because of the hunger. Well, part of me. We do have the AC room still. Alright. We can use the AC room, I think. Oh, we also have this. Praise the AC room. So what was it we needed? We needed tea? Ba -bum, ba -da -da -da. So wait, wait, take way too long to make tea. Ten random villagers will die, but apparently that's okay. <laughs> I'm being told. Just have ten random villagers die. Oh, also, Forsaken Altar. Oh no, I don't have this building. Get up. You don't have red charge. Oh, 5.76. I see. It's so hard to see this. Hard to build all that be pretty difficult.
Oh, yes. Finish this housing. Yep. Even accidentally built an extra here. Requisition the garden. What's wrong with the harpies? Holy crap, plus 10 isn't enough? Oh, I ran out of water. Uh, that makes sense. Very good, carry on. Let me see, we are 5 out of 8 install rain engine. So, I have 10, I mean 12, it's probably good to get this. I think I can use a little bit. Eh, I should wait until the drizzle season so I get a little bit of green. Max my chances of getting more. We need more water! Praise the water! This is my first game using this much water. Part of it's for the quest, but part of it's because water's awesome. It's water. I'm a convert. Power, power, water. I need to crit this, uh, I need to crit this tea. Give me a crit. Oh, so third ancient. I crit the tea, then I can get one of these. Oh, I don't have the, uh, yes. What do we got here? Spiced ale, herbless camp, herbs, berries, mushrooms. Herbs, berries? <clears throat> Camp's super good. What, you're talking about by the camp, huh? This is nice and pricey. Am I finally out of my fuel slump? Where am I getting these? Is it from the mine? No, it's from gathering the flowers, isn't it? Where am I getting these? I actually don't know. Oh, trees, of course. Okay. 
It's rough to think that if I didn't have the... Ancient Pact. See everything, but discovering costs. Gain one copper ore for every five wood produced. All crystallized dew production is reduced by one. Oh, so sad. We are actually on the crystallized dew path. I think it's a ten golder. Or Ancient Pact, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. No costs. Then I can see if the glades have anything good in them. Alright. We comboed it with uh, not losing reputation. Very good. Let's, let's see what's in here. Oh! Look at that! It's got a butcher, a plantation, and a provisioner. Withered tree. I'm looking up what withered tree is. Withered tree. Requirements. Six purging fire. Uh, or what is this? Oh, wrong. Loot of some category. I don't know if this is the right place to look at this. Look at the small glades for small chests to solve your event. My event's gonna be done with install rain engines. Oh, speaking of pipes, oh pipes. So I need. Two pipes plus four pipes, six pipes. I might need another uh, ten pipes. Uh, ten pipes. It's twenty bucks. That's like almost always getting done. So I grab those pipes and grab the herbalist camp. I guess that's good. 17 extra bucks. Thinking about if I want planks, I can use less wood then. It's probably good. Thirty incense, ten pipe. It's nineteen bucks. This thing is twenty-three bucks. Oh, thirty-eight bucks. Thirty-seven bucks. Auto. Oh, thirty was right. Huh. One more. <laughs> Trump and might proc. I don't think I can wait for it to proc, right? This is, uh, I find out in 50 seconds. This has nine minutes, six minutes. It's a little dangerous. Eh, might as well just do it. Actually, never know how long it takes everyone to deliver this stuff. Nine minutes. Time, five minutes, eh, a little risky. Okay, 30, 10, it's, uh, and then I need one dollar for the herbalist camp. Okay. Uh 
A ritual. And I guess I don't want to discover a glade this time around because I get 20. Also, I know what is in all the glades now. I should probably take a moment and look at all of them. Hmm. Praise Sother. Does that mean I no longer have a need for making this tea? I think I no longer have a need for it, so I might as well not make it. But I might as well also make it, just because they got started anyways. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find some guys, some guys to build this water thing. Did you activate after the harpy? You need to activate it after. Oh, well. I... <laughs> you almost got me to cancel it and try again. That would have been funny. Grill doesn't need that many workers. Okay. Yeah. With that many in the bank, but also they're chilling. Yep. Exclamation mark. Okay, I need to look up what this Withered Tree thing is. I couldn't get information on it. Let's see. Withered Tree Glade Event. I... Hmm. I think this is... Is this one of the ones with only one of them? Oh, no. I see. Or, do I see? Working effects... Juan Sis. Oh, that's very... Okay, so definitely not worry about it, this one. It's bars and fuel. Six fuel plus six bars on the right. Cancel your T for the bars. I'm not discovering it this time because I think it's... Uh... What is it? This is the one that spawns cysts, right? Um, but it doesn't if I... Requirements, six purging fire, working effects, voice of the forest. So that's really bad because it's year six. So I'll probably make, I'll probably find something by then. If you do left, it spawns cyst. Okay, so burning it is fine. Got it. So, hmm. Interesting. Then it sounds like I've got it. Do I have read? Oh, I have a ton of read. Never mind. We're fine. Um, yeah, I think we open this. It has a bunch of cool stuff in it. We put some pipes in it and good plan.
I wonder if I can finally start making some packs. Hmm, still iffy. to work on this stuff. Alright, I gotta go down the chain of command here. Guess the grill guy? Rain collector is key? Why is no one in this ancient hearth? Interesting. Where's my harpy? It's in my hand. Sacrifice, Herc Ancient Pact. Oh, oh, that's so sad. All right, well, I have a third harpy somewhere. Maybe I'm paused or something? No? Three? One, two. Harpy? Anyone see my harpy? There's so many critical people right now. So I need the six guys on wood. The workshop is probably the least critical, but I just built a bunch of stuff, so I need to refill all that stuff. Woodcutters, granary is super important. This harvester camp. You can so, why do I want guys? It's because I want to build this. And then I can put more guys in it, which seems really important. And then I can turn on the juice over here. We have the juice on. Scouts are idle and provisioner. Oh, right, I need a guy here too. Don't forget you can boost your economy a special building. Yeah. You never really look at the middle bell. Let's see. Global production rate 50% faster for the duration of this season. 
Builders with low resolve, 50% slower. Trade routes faster, hostility, first resistance. Oh. Hmm. Scouts work faster. Cool. Do I want a random plantation for berries? Kind of. Speaking of, we totally don't need to make grain. So right now I'm making veggie. Veggie can be replaced with berry there. It's a better berry. Better veggie. Here, we can use berry instead of veggie. It almost feels like wherever there's berry, you can just use veggie. Yeah. Berry veggie. Auto payment. You can set your payment to be automatically paid by a royal treasure. I need this to like just be paid because we don't want to cash carry accidents. Last minute I can forget. Uh, here's my early It auto takes it away for you. Yeah, but you can drop below the amount of money, right? Uh, let's see. I think this is pretty good stuff. Parts. I don't believe I need more parts now. Though, we did upgrade this thing, but we have two of those things. We're not even using them both. Wow, this herbalist camp is big chillin'. Hmm. Anyways, I think I don't need more parts. I think the uh, it would be very handy to have extra materials. What's this? Three districts. Two districts. I'll take this stuff. And yes, we want a farm. <laughs> I know what low on fuel means. Yes, I need that anyways this season. Okay. Finally have our source of fuel. Big, big of true. Like 
I'm very seriously looking at these because I'm pretty sure I need to have a lot of money and I need to make a lot of trades. Uh, anyways, where was I? For the upcoming stuff. I got a provisioner, yes. I think it's time to make some pack. This is looking good. Looks like we're going towards a smooth victory from here. I'd consider boosting economy now. You have everything, you just need to produce surplus. Uh, I wasted a minute of it. Oh, but it's... Uh, mm. You could see it. I hate that I didn't do it earlier, but it... all right, it's fine. I I agree. I think we're nearing that time. Hit it. This is also the season where I have to make the fire. I only chopped all the bottom right. Took a while. Complete the outpost order. Okay. Cool. No rush. I should complete this now, so that I can get my bonus. But ciao, ciao. Praise the mechanical heart, we did it. Golden blood. Reach standing level two with three settlements on trade routes. I was working towards this the whole time, I actually forgot it was only level two. All right, easy. Plus two vegetables farming. Yeah, okay. It's not actually that useful because I think I am pretty soon going to win. I've spent quite a lot of water. I get those trade routes up. I mean, if you installed eight pipes and you're sitting at like low water, it must mean I've spent a lot of water. I have to be careful not to spend too much water. No, I don't even have to be careful. I, uh, deaths are meaningless.
check the later storm powers. Uh, just melancholy. We're fine. Oh, cloud burst. Oh, I do need to remember not to get cloud burst. A good point. Cloud burst. Global resolve will be lowered by negative six for two minutes. It sounds bad. During clearance? I mean, if we're going for a reputation, that's bad. I guess right now I have everything, though. I don't really need more buildings, because we found this super glid. Well, let's take a look at like other stuff. See if I want this stuff. Open vault. I mean, the little, I was like, I just found one thing that was good. I'm like, yeah, okay. Open vault against the storm. Like, what am I looking for? Bury the entrance. Loot. We got a drizzle water. That's good. We got an open vault. Haunted brewery. I mean, I can just look around and see if there's cool stuff, I guess. Alchemist hut. Tea house butcher. Blah, blah, blah. Totem of Denial. Oh, yeah, I can look at these too. These sad little glids. Oh, there's a forum in here. I don't know why I'm so excited. The reputation doesn't matter in this one. I don't think I'm opening any more glids. Which, uh, lol on me picking this thing. But I guess I opened the one glade that mattered. This is a really good glade. Oh, I didn't look at what plague was coming. Discover two... Dangerous or forbidden glades during this storm. If you don't, three villagers will be killed. Oh no. Wow, it sure is a good thing I took that other thing. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Anyways. Insurance! Man, insurance is good. I was just like, ah, it won't even come up. But it comes up, I guess. Alright, so I gotta get the trade in going. Box blend to two takes five bucks. But how? Dawn Grove needs nine bucks. Not gonna happen. I feel like I need this grain because I'm burning it really fast. Hungry? Huh? Oh, I didn't see the hungry notice. 
Yeah, everyone's eating. No one's hungry. Why are people so sad though? Oh. I didn't get that fire keeper up fast enough. Use the beacon minus a hundred. Um, minus a hundred won't even do anything right now. Why don't I just burn some stuff? Oh, because I don't have it. I guess it will do something. Save that human. Yeah, I guess. Okay. All right. It's time. Keeps adding stacks. We have one harpy left. Harpy, I will protect you to the safe house. Get a harpy in four minutes. No rush. No rush. Actually, there is. Uh, no rush. No rush. Uh, oh, man. Cornerstone. Oh, darn. I didn't get this. Alright. Like, all sorts of good ideas. I think I move a house over. Well, I can just build a house. Global production rate is 50% faster. Is that better in clearance or drizzle? I think no real difference other than farming. Oh, here we go. Gain one villager. Villagers add less hostility, minus three. Cool. All camp production is increased by 100%. 
Uh, villagers add less hostility. That's probably really good. It's uh, minus 90? That seems quite good. Thanks, Priestess. Praise the dark powers. Man, I got this one in the bag. Easy teasy. I even have the insurance, so I can't mess up. Oof. The pride cometh before the fall. production, a shady but lucrative deal, gain 10 amber every time a villager dies or leaves. Oh, aren't people about to die? We didn't do the plague thingy. Plague of Mysteries is coming up. Negative force mysteries require. Wow. Good pause. Good pause. Judging. All right, show me the money. Cha-ching! Woodcutter died. Farmer died. Builder died. Sir Renwald Redman. Why, hello. You have a monastery. Is that good? Religion and leisure. Hmm. Okay, it's actually pretty good. Increases global food production. That's pretty good too. I wonder, and uh, this is a pretty big wonder. I wonder since we're going for the alternate wind condition, I know that next I am going for the money let me do a quick research here uh what is this scenario the ancient seal ancient seal um requirements because i know i was going for a very specific path here like not not too specific a path but i know that 80 amber was like yeah obviously i'm gonna have that so I probably shouldn't spend Amber, because I might be very close to winning. So the idea is... What do you want to do? Water or Glade Salt? You can sell your tablets. Oh, yeah. Um, for money. Interesting. It, it's hard to tell because I don't have the water. You know, I don't know how much water I've spent, but it's probably a good amount. I've probably burnt a good amount of stuff, too. It's always that question mark. How much have I done? Money is easy. You say that now, but I feel like money right now might be my bottleneck. So I don't think I actually buy anything. And I think I focus on getting water. So right now I need to get level two with two guys. Oh, this is doable right here. I just need six packet crops. So. Here's what I see it as. 
I need six pack of crops. I do that. I have enough money for the next one. And then all I need is the is the water. I might have already spent enough water and burnt enough things. Uh, 47 bucks. So we got the 47. We got that. It's like 59. We do this. This is 69. Very good. And then I sell like the tablets. The new plague is the stuff is lower, which means I'll get the melancholy. And then I get the cloud burst, which is whatever, right? Whatever. So. Yeah. The way I see it, we've got our path. The path is hold the money and then win like this year. Remind me to check him as it takes down. Oh, speaking of, I think it's right to get the 50% faster global production right now. Yeah. Drizzle water. Aha! Uh -huh, I used all of it. And I was considering building another one. I think that's a great idea. We just want all the water. Let me swim in it. This needs to work. Wow, I don't have either? What am I missing? Hmm. Where are my people? Why is my very valuable harpy doing this work? We have one harpy. Uh, I guess harpy goes here. Yo. Mm -hmm. We need to get... No, don't plant plant fiber. So incredibly terrible. Hmm. Two guys available. So what I need is to harvest this berry. No one building this water thing. Oh well. Too much work to get it. I think I save one tablet in case I need it for an order.
Okay, 70, I have 72 amber. Okay, I've got more than enough. What was I doing? Pack of crops, pack of crops. Oh, it's a lot of food in here. X2! Winner. Whoops, he left. Oh. Finally time for the leather worker to do some work. It's time. Hola, mira. Hmm. Oh man, I need more grain. Good thing I didn't sell it earlier. I knew I needed it. might win in four minutes. I just uh, don't know how much water I've spent. Praise Zorg! I think for the victory. If I roll my mouse over the Zorg, I have gained 210 skewers. Praise Zorg. Definitely went to the worst provisioner office, didn't I? Yep. Also, look at all the cool stuff in here. <laughs> trade route.
think I need to start just ensuring that I have had enough of these, so it's time for the use all these buildings and turn them up to, to ludicrous amounts. Turn up the AC. Yeah, this woodcutter has been going rogue. I never noticed. Thirty seconds until the win. The win? This is the part of the game where I'm like, yes, this is how I wanted it to end. Without question, I still had to get through a spooky part, but this is total victory, as I celebrate early. Be sealed with golden blood. I've collected the feathers of crystal. Now we need something that will help it rise high above this evil land. Crystal feathers. And then... 153 more rainwater. And we are already trying to use it. But now we use it harder. Some tea. Receive amber, three green per minute. Hmm. All right. I don't know how fast rainwater gets used, so I'm still being a little paranoid. Getting there. 
We could probably 3x the speed, but I am a careful man. Here, let's 2x the speed. have the insurance up, so nothing could possibly go wrong. But just in case, you know, we'll play it out. The theory of you'd hate to be the guy who had it in the bag, and then you somehow lost. And that is the essence of live stream fails. It's, it is something I do enjoy. Oh, this was never being used. Use it. Crank it. So I did go into this uh, knowing that the last one was going to be Essence of Corruption to gather rainwater and burn cysts. I was like, yeah, that's a lot easier than Fire Essence and Forbidden Essence. I hope uh, this last one gets changed so that the last one is harder or the first two are easier, one of those. Ah, dear, homework! Also, I can't believe that the Harpy is unsatisfied right now. Also, we totally decided not to clear the Blight. Not that it matters, but... But just because I want to clear the Blight. <laughs> What else is happening? A harpy. We need the harpy to feel good. Get in the AC. No one dies on the final lap. No one dies during victory lap. Except you. Good thing we have insurance. And we have insurance on, on our insurance. Boy, these harpies sure are picky. Put in the put them in the plus ten resolve. Your time is over. What? We got a two for ancient hearth corruption again. Wow. Sure, what up?
That is a lost condition, to lose all your guys. I don't know how I could possibly lose all my guys before spending 8 ring water. But, some of these buildings are not actually working. It's done! The sealed ones are imprisoned once again. He not only saved our people, but also rekindled the flame of hope in our people. Saved our world. The faith in something that until now was only a legend of old. Your trial is complete. And I finished... Early. <laughs> the queen must be super happy. Join the ranks of the queen's hands. I always knew you'd make it, kid. You're too talented. The ceremony is about to begin. That's what you wanted, right? You don't want to make her wait. I did it! Was it worth it? What a great game. Worth every bit. I don't mind that it took four days? Three and a half. Plus all the training I did up until the special mode. Cool game. Was that you who introduced me to the game, JJJ? Thank you. It's a great game. It's like a totally the genre of game that is my favorite. City builder, resource management, tough. Lots of replayability because of the variability and randomness, and you have to like fiddle with the randomness. But we did it! And now we're gonna upload a single 20 hour YouTube video, or however long this took. Are there other games like this then? Frostpunk was like the first one I played that was great. The best thing about City Builders is the early game in this game does that and repeat. Yeah, exactly. Like, Civilization is kind of similar. It's a Civilization Builder, which isn't that much unlike a City Builder. And Civilization's main fault is that the game, like, is really good in the first half, and then it's, like, too easy. And, like, this cuts it off at just the right time, I'd say. YouTube won't take more than a 12-hour video? I didn't know that. Might have to cut it in half. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I'll have to look that up. Alright. We did it! Against the storm. I completed the hardest difficulty. May or may not be, you know, changing a little bit. I'm sure they'll make some changes to it, but 
that was the pre-release version and the version that presumably will be there right at the release of the game, which will be very, very soon. I'm one of the few. I'm one of the first to complete the Queen's Hand Trials. I'll go down in history forever. 